Good evening, everyone, and welcome. This is Twist Gaming, where you get to play board games with us. We're coming to you live here from our studio in sunny and hot South Florida, bringing you another Spotlight episode here at Twist Gaming. But first up, who are we? As usual, I'm Matt. I'm Ann. I'm Josh. And as I said before, we are Twist Gaming. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. We really appreciate it. Uh, so... Getting into the uh, the thick of things here, uh, we are showing off what today, Josh? Call to Adventure. Call to Adventure by Brother Wise Games, yeah. and this is currently live on Kickstarter, right, Josh? Yeah. If you put our little sponsor message up, uh, thank Brother Wise Game and PSI Presents for sponsoring this week's stream. Yep. You can check out Call to Adventure on Kickstarter. It's got like a week left, if that. It's coming into the home stretch. So, guys, if you enjoy this stream, if you like what you're seeing here, definitely go click the link. Go to their Kickstarter and support them, and this is your opportunity to get the game here. Yeah, four so, days. Four days. Four days. That's a lot less than a week. That's like and half of that. Like $440,000. So almost about half a million. That's quite a bit. So that that's a nice goal to get them to. You counting the, the 440000 Yes. <laughs> All right. So... Uh, anything else that you wanted to say before we, we just jump into it? So we don't have a guest joining us here today. Uh, so sorry, Chris couldn't come with us. He had other plans today. Uh, this was a last-minute thing. We were at Gen, uh, Con. Gen Con. We did an uh, interview with Chris. We did. Do, do attention Gen Con attendees. Uh, attention Gen Con attendees. Please join us in the Wabash Ballroom for Twist Gaming Spotlight of Call to Adventure by Brotherwise Games. <laughs> okay, you can continue. Um, <laughs> and Chris showed us Call to Adventure. Mm -hmm. uh, we did a little interview with them. Uh during our live stream. Uh, and then we're like, oh, we would really, really like to do a spotlight of this. Mm -hmm. And we worked out the details. He had to make a copy. Uh, so this is a very early prototype copy. Correct. Missing one of the trackers. And I was missing the corruption track. So I printed those out because they're pretty straightforward. Now, you and Matt got to do this interview, but I did not get to see the interview, nor did I get to see the game. So this is all brand new for us, which is kind of the whole one of the things that we do here on the Spotlight. So absolutely. One thing to definitely point out here, if you haven't watched our Spotlight streams before, uh, we do this in several tiers in terms of familiarity with the game. So I personally conducted the interview at Gen Con, so I've got a little bit of background to the game, a little bit of knowledge. Josh sat down at the booth at Brotherwise and did a full playthrough of the game, so he familiarized himself very thoroughly with the rules, and he knows what's up, and Anne, you're blind today, so you don't know what's going on, and we do this as a reference for you guys to see how easy the game is to pick up, uh, how approachable the game is on the table. So, uh, one other thing, as Josh said, we'd like to point out that this is an early prototype, so excuse the roughness of some of the components. Uh, it's on Kickstarter now, so... Yeah. Um, so, Anne, I, I feel like this game is up your alley, though. Okay, so I keep on seeing the advertisement pop up through, and it says, Craft Your Adventure, and immediately I'm interested, because the best part of an RPG is the hour and a half that you spend creating your character. And so, that's exactly what this game is, is you are creating your hero in an RPG. They have, ma they have gamified creating oh, your character. Oh, that's this yeah, game! That's this a, is yes. the game that you were telling yeah, me about. This, is, this isn't like the how your character looks, but this is the background story of your character. Yeah the origins of your character, their motivation, what happened in their past to make them the character they are today. Can I do that with your life? Because that would be really fun. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we don't have enough you get some cards that. here and you can, you can figure out what you want to do. All right. You can make whatever hero you want. Oh or anti-hero. Oh, this is going to be so good. Oh, I'm so excited. So, yeah, so one of the cool things about this game as well is that there is a optional storytelling element. So this game, you can definitely play it and you can get the points and, you know, just play the game for what it is. Uh, they encourage you, though, to create a tale for the character that you're creating with these cards that you're getting throughout the game. Mm -hmm. So we'll show that off a little bit more as we jump into gameplay. And uh, Josh is going to take us through the rules explanation for Call to Adventure. So I'm going to throw the stream your way. Catch, Josh. There you All go. All right. So Call to Adventure is a uh, card crafting, uh, the tableau crafting game. So mm -hmm. we're going to be drafting cards to build a tableau of our hero. Right, or anti-hero. Or anti-hero, and it's going to build their story up. So we're going to start with an origins card. So let's let's say, for example, our origins is... Uh, our hero is a student. A green screen student. Green so our hero is a student. And so whenever one of your runes shows a result of... Uh, that would be, I believe, is intelligence and... I'm going to forget House. the names of these. <laughs> and wisdom. 
intelligence and wisdom. Yes. So uh, keep in mind that uh, we don't have the printed out rules. So if Josh is looking at his phone, he is just referencing the rule yeah. book. Uh, uh, you gain an experience point. So the little red things are experience points. We have a bunch of these here. Boom. All right, and Matt, if you scroll that down, the other th uh, uh, up. Sorry. Uh, that also means you get an intelligent and a wisdom. Mm -hmm. Um. To use when you so we have instead of using dice, this game uses runes. Yeah, and these icons are going to be used to kind of build up what runes you get to use to do challenges. Correct. So instead of rolling your dice, you're casting your runes yeah. very so, thematically. So let's say we have our example. We have our student. That's our origins. Mm -hmm. We got to have a motivation for them. Of course. What's the student's motivation? What does he want to do? Learn all the um, stuff. Uh, th this is just I, I randomly drew this. He has a thirst for knowledge. He has a thirst for knowledge. How uh, apropos. So, thirst for knowledge. Once per turn, you may spend uh, ex one experience to gain plus one intelligence. Intelligence until the end of the turn. So, so that's an ability. It gives you an ability, ability, but it also gives you your motivation. So, you're a student who has a thirst for knowledge. But what what is the student's destiny? Uh, is it who are the people that live in the tower in Game of Thrones? Live in the library. The that's it. His destiny, destiny doesn't quite fit with the story we've had so far, but his he's destiny... He's one with nature! Oh. At the end of the game, gain uh, two for each... So wisdom. Two triumph uh, for each wisdom, and one for each uh, strength and charisma. Or. Or charisma. Okay. And... So that's that's going to be your job then so to make that character. How the game's going to work is everyone's going to get dealt out two origins, two motivations, and two destinies. Now, if you saw the uh, origins and motivations, kind of help you get more. Uh, the your origins help you get more experience, typically. Correct. And your uh, motivations let you spend your experience to help you advance. He's a botanist. Herbologist. Um, oh. oh. The other thing is your destiny. Yes. That's secret information. We don't know that is. And that's what that is is it's a helps you with final scoring. So right. it says, "All right, you're going to get more points if you do this." So we d we don't know what everyone's destiny is. So it's a, a little bit of a hidden scoring mechanic that each yeah. person has uh to prevent telegraphing of the final score of the yeah. game. So as the game goes on, um we're going to get points and I'm going to explain things kind of how they come up. Okay. Um as we do it, but basically we're going to get dealt two of each of these. We're going to choose one of each. Gotcha. What am I doing with the one I don't want? And we're just going to put it back on the pile. You tear and up they, they the card. I'm kidding. Don't tear up the card. All right. So once that's done, we're going to go off on our adventure, and we go into... Okay, Matt, can you go on board cam? I sure can. Give me one second. There we go. Go on our adventure. And we're... Uh, and can you deal with four Act 1 cards? So this is our first act of our adventure. Bam. Okay. So Bam. that first one is... Uncover Hidden Lore. There's actually... So... We got a couple things here. We'll show these off one at uh, one at a time. Okay. No, no, just just act one. So three of the four cards are challenges. You can tell that by the black text on the side here. Oh, easy enough. Uh, and they say what you need to do the challenge. So this one says you need a. Uh, the arrow is dexterity and intelligence. Okay, so. But there's two different things you could do with this. This challenge, though, there's, so this is forbidden lore. You can either uncover the hidden lore on the top, okay, or if you go on the bottom, you can learn dark secrets. Ooh. And which one you do gives you the different benefits, but they're the same things you need for the challenge. So if you go to learn dark secrets, you're going to get another intelligence, and you're going to get an anti-hero card. So the black down arrow is an anti-hero card. And we haven't talked the, about those yet. This card we'll here. About, yeah, that one there. Okay. You go to the top... Um, you're going to get a dexterity. Uh, dexterity, and you get one of these story symbols. Okay. So these stories, there's six different story symbols on all the cards. Uh, the story symbols don't do anything during the game, but they're worth points at the end. It's a set collecting. Gotcha. So if you have one of one story icon, it's worth nothing. You get nothing for that. If you get two, it's worth two points. They have mm -hmm. to be identical. If you get three identicals, it's worth four. And if you get four identical ones, it's worth eight. Gotcha. So the more you get, the more points you get. Um. So that's your final points of the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sold. This Friday's paycheck. I'm going to back it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so basically, you get to say, all right, I'm going to go uncover hidden lore. That's what I'm going to do. So you're going to look at the challenge on the left. And you see that's a four on top. That's what you need to beat the challenge. Okay. All right, how do you beat a challenge, though? That's a good question. So everyone starts with three basic runes. Basic runes. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. So 
one of each one of those on one side is going to have this little tally there. Um, I can put one back on the tally. Are you, then flip that other one back. There we go. So each one has a tally. Yeah. That's a that's a point. Which one's a tally? The arrows or the, the line? Line, straight line. So like line. like a a tally mark. Yeah, okay. A tally mark. So those that, that's worth one point. So you're gonna you always roll these three, and they're worth a point. Cast. You cast. Sorry, you cast. <laughs> you cast your runes. So this is worth a point. If you get blank, it's not worth anything. Of the three starting ones, there's one that has that back symbol with the two arrows on it. Mm-hmm. That means you can draw you can draw a hero or an anti-hero card. Okay. So that would be these cards right here. So you have the uh, it's upside the down. Anti-hero, which is the upside down black triangle, and then the hero card, which is the right side up white triangle. Yep. Okay. Um, anti-hero card. Uh, flip over a hero card and anti-hero card. We'll just kind of show them off. So a hero card here, we have inner strength. So what's the symbol in the top left? A uh, symbol top left. This is going to be worth one triumph at the end. Okay. So uh, one victory point. One victory point. Gotcha. Um, so just play then... this before you face a challenge. Add an extra... Strength? Strength or what's that other symbol? Uh, constitution. Constitution rune to your attempt. So using very traditional RPG elements, uh, so you have dexterity, yeah. strength, wisdom, intelligence, uh, constitution. Yep. It's, it's triumph. triumph. Theme is very yeah, important in sorry. this game. Gotcha. So that's the hero card there. So then the anti-hero card is relentless. This one's also worth one. This is worth one tragedy point. Tragedy point. point. Okay. So the black ones are tragedy. The white ones are triumph. And this says gain one skull. So we all start off with this little... These are printed out. These are not final quality. You can kind of put it in the board cam. In the hand cam, I mean. There we go. So we're going to start in, where that little icon is on there. Which two, one? Where the little circle is. This one here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So gotcha. you start there, we, which means you start with two triumph points, and you could use both hero and, anti-hero. and then add the hero cards. Gotcha. If you get a skull, that means you're going to go down on this track. So in the darkness direction. In the darkness direction. Going down one's okay. Not that bad. Going down two, you get more You get more uh, tragedy points. You get but four. you but can only use anti-hero cards. You can only use anti-hero cards. You go down the track more, you get no points. But wait, there's more. Yeah. If you go down even more, you get minus four points. Like, you've gone... Full villain, yeah. You're not you're not good anymore. You're not antihero. You're not Darth Vader anymore. You're Emperor Palpatine. Yeah. Uh, so you go up to the top. So you're gonna see these sun icons on things. Yes. This is how you get up on the track. It's very hard to get up on the track. It's easy to go down on the track. Gotcha. So. So as you go positive, you're gonna get four triumph here, and but you then can only use hero only cards. Only use, you can't hero, use cards. hero cards. Eight triumph for the top spot, and you can still only use hero cards. <laughs> So, but I thought that Jar Jar was Palpatine. Well, then that's not right. <laughs> so, so this is you're going to gain one corruption. Yes. And then you make make a second attempt on a challenge you just failed. So you get to redo a challenge. That's very yeah, powerful. It's very powerful. Um, the anti hero cards have a little bit of a take that mechanism in them. Yeah. So there's a a little take that, but mostly everyone's playing their own thing. Okay. The take that's normally like, oh, make that person do that challenge again. Add plus one to the to the level of difficulty. Difficulty. So. There's that. All right, so we can put that card back. Okay. Um, and can I have the challenge card? You sure can. So I'm going to put the challenge card back. We had one other card jump up. So we have uh, Ally. Ally. So it's a mentor. So allies work a little bit differently when they come up in the uh, row of cards. If you see on the top, they add plus one to a challenge. They can only be played on challenges. So they would be go. They would go under a challenge, and when you complete that challenge, you get both the ally and the challenge. Cool. Um, and you scroll. If you look down, I believe he has some text. Saying, he may spend one. <coughs> excuse me. Uh, Thanks. Yeah, one of the red. What, what's that one called? One experience. Again? One experience. You may spend one experience or sacrifice this ally to gain plus wisdom. One wisdom until the end of the turn. I'm learning these icons. Okay. So I have that back. Sure. Uh, so this is actually going to go here. This challenge is going to go under it. So instead of a four, this is now a five. Wait, isn't okay. the challenge on top of it? No, the challenge is on top of it. This is the ally. This is the challenge. It's a five. Continue. All right, and so then what's the, we got another ally that came out. Oh, another challenge. 
All right. So, so the last two are going to be significantly more difficult. We've got an animal companion for the last one. Can you just trading those out, Anne? Thank you so uh -huh. much. We've got an animal companion that's going to add another plus one, and then that challenges a four. So those last two are fives. So I want to show off one other card that didn't come up. There are trait cards. Okay. Um, so these aren't quite as powerful as doing a challenge. Right. But you look up here, you get a story point. You also get a dexterity for this one. And all you have to do to get this is you look at the bottom of the card and you have to do what it says. You may only gain this if you gain corruption or spend one experience. So that's how you pick that up. So, so remind me again, this would give you the dexterity, but it would also give you... That story icon. Okay. Thank you, Transcendent. So um, there's adversary adversaries that come in the second and third act. Yes. They're stronger challenges. Okay. Um, and we'll talk about those more as we get to those. Okay. So let's get into the game. Into the meat and potatoes um, of things. Some of the other some of the other things are the runes. Yes. There's three of each rune type. So strength, intelligence, wisdom, charisma, dexterity, and constitution. Okay. If you get to level three so let's look at strength. Yeah. So it's got the, the, the sword symbol there. It's got the sword symbol on there. So that sword means it's two instead of one. Wait, what? It's worth two. Two strength. Instead of... It's worth two to your 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 cast. Okay. If you flip it over... Yes. It's a tally. It's worth one. Okay. Oh. So when you roll, these are worth at least one or two, where your basic ones are worth one zero or zero. Zero or one. Okay. Uh, but there's also... If you get the three levels... Yes. Each one has a special one of these. And each so. one is different. So on that side, it's worth two, just like a normal sword. But the back side... That one's going to give you one experience point if you roll that. Ooh. Doesn't add to your roll, though. <clears throat> it's just is that all the point. level three ones? Uh, it, either an experience point, a hero card, or, hero card, or an anti-hero card. Okay. It depends on which type it is. Okay. Uh, but that's what you get. Uh, one last rune you can roll is dark runes. Okay. So dark runes are these. The, the these are prototype, ones. so they look a little... I... I feel like this is the Sharpie rune right here. Yeah, this is a Sharpie rune. So it's got a tally on one side. So what does it give you? It's giving you plus one to your challenges. Yeah, plus one to your challenge. Flip it on the back side, though. But if you roll the the moon... It moves you down on your tracker. It moves tracker. you down on your track, but I still think it's worth points, and I just want to double-check that. Okay. So it's a way for you to get some extra... Uh, yeah. Extra added to your cast, but at the downfall of moving you down into the darkness. Yeah. So the moon is uh, adds plus two to your roll, or to mm -hmm. your cast, mm -hmm. uh, but it moves you down the track on your darkness track. So how do we get those dark runes? Uh, you can spend your experience, which are all going to start with three experience. Okay, so we've got these lovely, lovely... You can spend them before you cast your runes to get up to three. Dark runes. Dark runes. Gotcha. How so do we acquire the other modified runes? So that's going to be based off the cards you have. Okay, so if we get plus one dexterity, we'll th we'll cast an extra dex rune. Yeah. Okay. So as we pick up these challenges and stuff, and depending on which one you pick, you're gonna be getting those icons to help. It's your experience to make you better at things. Gotcha. Uh, how it goes. Makes sense. So, um, note, I'm gonna hand out the origin cards. The origins and the destiny cards have the wrong backs. They're switched. So the gold ones are your origin cards. Okay. Thank you very much. So we're. So what you get? Uh, Can I, I see them both? No, I'm not going to tell you. Of this course I'm going to tell you. I'll, I'll look at it in just a second. So I wanted to note that we are looking at two of these and picking one of them, discarding the other. Yep. So I have the Settler as my one. So this is going to give me, and I'm sorry, you're, I'm really bad with remembering the symbols. So That's Constitution. Constitution. The shield is a shield. Oh, it's a shield. Okay. Yeah. So Constitution and, and that's intelligence, intelligence because yes. that's a wand. It's a wand. So you have a constitution and an intelligence, and then whenever one of your runes shows a result of constitution or intelligence, gain one experience. That's nice. My other one is the beggar. So the beggar is giving me one charisma and one, one dexterity. dexterity. So the beggar, and that is when you fail a dex or a... Uh, charisma challenge. Charisma, thank you, challenge, gain an extra two experience. So that's when you fail, it gives you a boon. Versus this one is when you get the positive result. I'm going to, you know, I don't know what I want right now. Let's let's look at what everyone else has. So, Anne, what are you going to be grabbing? So what are your two that you have? There? I got the option between the pickpocket. Of course again, you did. Burglar <laughs> besties. So that is a dex and a con. And that is whenever you fail a dex or con challenge, you may try again. So it's kind of like what you got with the beggar. But mine gives me experience. Yours just lets you try again. Yes. That's nice. 
And that is then the performer. Of course, you've got the performer. Uh, so that is a constitution and a charisma. And that is whenever one of your runes shows a result of the constitution or charisma, gain an experience. So that is very I, very similar to my settler one there. Yes. And then, Josh, what are your two? Um, I got the hunter and the apprentice. So no, Ooh. we're not going to show off our destiny cards to everyone. So Correct. you want to kind of put your origins and your motivation to help you with your destiny card. So the hunter is a dex and a... Joshua? Uh, wisdom. Dex and wisdom. And that is whenever one of your runes shows dex or wisdom, gain an experience. And then the apprentice is dex and intelligence. And that is whenever you fail a dex or intelligence challenge, gain a hero card. All right. So that's you. This uh, is also the... you. I didn't get a chance to look at my other cards yet. So I will see what I want out of there. In the meantime, Anne, do you want to talk a little bit about what some of your other cards are? Um, so if we're going to get into our motivation cards, then I have two options here. Uh, I can either have the bound by honor uh, motivation, and that is... Uh, now help me with this. So what's the five up in the top right? So that's just worth five triumph points. At, at the, the end, end of the game. game. So it's end game scoring. I autom if I choose this one, I get five right off the yeah. bat. Uh, and the special ability there is when I overcome a challenge by one or less, then I'm going to gain one experience point. Okay, and then the other option that I have is Vow of Vengeance. So now, what are the two? What's the two it's there? Two tragedy points. But don't tragedy points take me down on the tracker? Tragedy points are worth points at the end. Yeah. Just you, your place on tracker gives you triumph <clears throat> or tragedy points. There's some cards that say you get bonuses for getting triumph. Some say you get bonuses for tragedy. So they kind of work differently. Okay. But so it's not necessarily good or bad. No, it's not good or bad. It's just bad if I get down to the negative four. Yeah, it's just bad if you get down to negative four. Okay, so when you fail a challenge or sacrifice an ally, gain an extra uh, experience point. EXP. Also, I got the special over-encumbered card. Just kidding. Got the All bag right. of holding. What, what? So I have the pure of heart, which gives me five uh, triumph points. But look at the bottom of this one. The end of the game, I subtract my strategy points from your triumph points. So then, if you're I choosing this motivation, it's going to be a, a game where you want to get as much as little tragedy points as yeah, possible. I don't want any tragedy if I pick that. Okay. What's your other option? Uh, the other one's the Lone Wanderer. That's your life story, bro. Which gives me two tragedy points. Oh my gosh! Look, Matt is Josh. Sure. <laughs> And uh, once per turn, you may discard and replace one revealed challenge or trait. So I get to clear the board a little bit. And if I don't like something there, I can kind of get rid of it. Through. Or if I see something I think one of you guys are going after, I'd be like, no, that, that's going away, and we're going to replace that. So very interesting. Based off of my um, Destiny cards that I have here, I can either go the easier game route or the more thematic route. And I think I'm going to go the more thematic route. I'm very what I want to do excited here. about you doing that. So, I'm going to choose the beggar, not the settler. So, I'm going to discard the settler. I'm also going to discard my other two cards over here, so I'm not going to show you guys those, because screw you guys. Uh, so, again, I'm the beggar. That is dex and um, charisma, and that is whenever you fail a dex or charisma challenge, gain two. Experience, experience. points. Um, my beggar was born lucky, though. So that means once per turn, you may spend one experience to flip over one rune that you cast. So I can. That's cool. Yeah. So I am. Do you want to talk about beggar. the destinies that we did not choose since the deck is so big? Um. Yeah, sure. Let's let's give an example of what one of those look like, and I will go ahead and I'll show off my destiny card here that I didn't choose. That is the High Arcanist. So this one here is at the end of the game, gain one. Um. Triumph. Triumph for each intelligence or wisdom, and then one triumph for each hero card in your hand. Oh, that's cool. So that's hero cards you didn't play. Ah, so oh. you're, you're collecting the knowledge yeah. then. I, that's cool. I like that thematically. That's really neat. So, and what are you choosing? Uh, what are you not choosing, right? I am going to set aside the performer. Okay. 
So you're not using the performer. No. I, oh, you know what's really cool? The Windows green screening. <laughs> That's actually really awesome. <laughs> Sorry. It's very appropriate. Uh, and uh, Bound by Honor. Bound by Honor as a refresher is when you overcome a challenge by one or less, gain one. And I'll give you the Destiny card that I'm not choosing just because it's kind of neat to look at. And that was the Force of Darkness. Are you sure you didn't want this? This is basically you in a so nutshell. That's, that's what I look like in the morning. That's what I played in my demo. Oh, look at that. So Force of Darkness is at the end of the game, gain three tragedy if you have two or more corruption. Two or more corruption. Uh, and then one tragedy for each tragedy tragedy path you, you took. took. So you just want to be evil as hell. Yep. That's, that's so appropriate for Josh. That's kind of cool. All right, so Josh, what are you picking? And what did you actually wind up picking? Oh, okay, so um, let me make sure I don't grab the wrong card up. Uh, I don't want to show you that one. Okay, so I'm going to be the pickpocket to oh. your beggar. Oh, look at that. Yay, slum. Yay. Okay. I'm going to be Aladdin. So uh, So whenever I am f ever fail a dexterity or a uh, con constitution, constitution challenge, uh, I get to try again. So that's kind of cool. Uh, and, you know, I'm a pickpocket because I'm an orphan on the streets and my mother was murdered. So I have a vow for vengeance. So whenever I fail a challenge or I sacrifice an ally, I'm going to gain an extra experience point. Ooh, that's interesting. Hey, now. I, I'm the lucky beggar, though. So luck is my superpower. Luck is definitely <laughs> a superpower. So Thank you, Domino. Is, this is the destiny I didn't pick. This is Hand of Fate, which is really cool. Hands of Feet? Hands, Hands of, of Feet. feet. Okay, Hands of Fate. It's a cool card. It's a I like really this art. beautiful artwork there. Yeah, so, uh, so draw an extra hero card at the beginning of the game. At the end of the game, gain one triumph for each hero, anti-hero, or ambiguous path you took. Yeah. Is so it actually get, called ambiguous? I don't or? I don't know the term for that one card because uh, I haven't seen that in the game. But it's uh, an extra point for a lot of stuff. You, you're trying to get all many, the cards. Yeah. Um, and then uh, what I end up with is I am the hunter, who is also a lone wanderer. This, is, this has apprentice and pure. No, those are the ones I'm not playing. Oh, okay. So you're the hunter, who is the lone. Oh, that's appropriate. Yeah. You're the, you're Aragorn. <laughs> <laughs> and, we'll see what my destiny is. Yeah. So then you did not pick the apprentice, <laughs> which is when you fail a intelligence or dex challenge, gain a hero card. Which I thought would be cool with the the de the other destiny card because you get more cards. Yeah. And so then you did not choose pure of heart. So that is at the end of the game, subtract your tragedy, tragedy from your triumph score. I know what his destiny is. What? What? He's got to get the Hobbit's to Isengard. <laughs> <laughs> right. so, Whoa, careful. Uh, All right. Just, oh, Trixie Hobbits is rearranging. So you're going to put your cards out in front of you. Must they be like this? They must. Or were this it okay the other way, but you were unhappy? No, because as you complete challenges, yeah. you're going to put... So the f Act 1 challenges are going to go under your origins. Yeah. So under or on top of? Under. So it, they would go like this, Matt? Okay. So, so let's so say if I was the hunter and I... If you completed the excelling in your studies, then you would get that. And that will show you all the icons you have. Okay. So then you would have your decks, you would have your wisdom, and then you would have your intelligence here as well. And then I have that story icon of the scroll. If I completed the bottom challenge, you would just slide the hero card up. Okay, and that is you gained lifelong friends. Yeah, and so that is a hero card and another in t uh, wisdom. wisdom. Yep. Yeah. So that would that's how the cards work as we play them. Very cool. And who wants to go first? Is there a rule for who goes first? Not that I re recall, so we're just going to pick randomly right You now. know what? Um, I'm going to say that the person who played this game is going to go first, just okay. to give us an example of what we're doing. All right. That's you, Josh, so take so, us away. So, we have a challenge here that needs dexterity and intelligence. Correct. Right now, I only have dexterity and wisdom, so I would love something that's dexterity and wisdom. Yeah. Which, escape your pursuiters is both dexterity and wisdom. But it's a five cost because there's an ally. It's a five cost because it's an ally, but I get two runes to go with it. Ooh, I see what you're saying. So it, it's going to help me a bit. Eh, but another thing I didn't mention is, Matt, can you look at the bottom of this challenge card? I sure can. Uh, so that is... Find a place of power. There's a plus one to that challenge. So if I want to do find a place of power, it's going to be a six. Ooh, that's nice. It's going to make it hard. Okay, so what are you going for? What's the tree icon? It's a story icon. So those are the story. That's the set, set collection, collection at the there. end. Mm. So if he he should do the trees because he's trying to get the because he's the lone Eisengard. <laughs> Eisengard. 
All right. I wish you didn't have a mic. I'd do Urukai on it's your where face. The, the ends were. Urukai. <laughs> <laughs> just paint white on so your hand. Uh, I am gonna go find a place of power. My hunter is going to find a place of power. He's lost in the woods. I like it. So, so let's put that on camera. So you're going for a place of power. So, so again, it's gonna it's a four to get here. This is going to be wisdom and dex, and yep. it's going to be plus one for the animal companion. However, place of power is going to be an additional plus one, so it's going to be a six combined that you need to complete this. What happens if you only get the five? Do I you only get the five? Mm -hmm. I lose the challenge. All together? It's all, all or together. nothing? It's all to nothing. It gets discarded. A new card will come up. I will get one experience point for losing. That's that's your consolation prize. Is you do get some experience. Okay. That's his ability. No, that's ev that's, oh, everyone. that's everyone's ability. Yeah, that's everyone's thing. Uh, so, Matt, okay. can I have the common runes, please? You sure can. So we're, we're sharing these. These are pooled yeah, resources. These are, these are all these pooled. So runes. you get three common runes. Three common. I get a dexterity and a wisdom rune. Mm -hmm. that's Why? One, two, three, because four, of those five things? Five runes. Because that's, his, I have, that's his starting character's runes. I have these runes. two runes. Okay. So forever icons I have, and I can only use the runes that are on the challenge. Can you move the card cam or the board cam a little bit so that when he casts his runes, you can see what he got? I sure can, Anne. Thanks, Maddie. I need a five for this, right? Yeah, and you have five. Six, I thought. Six, six, because you're doing six. the you're, place you're of power. I am going to spend power. all three, three experience. Spending Start of the game. All three Wait, experience. I, oh, why do you? I have my oh. three dark runes. Oh. Because this is a hard challenge at the beginning of the game. So, statistically, he's got a pretty good shot now after doing that. But he's going to be evil. I No corruption. Wow. I got no corruption and there. And you succeeded as well. And I succeeded. So, you got one, two, three, four, five, six. And then this is a point, right? That's, that's two. That's oh, because two it's, on, yeah, because it's on this side and not the tally side. Jeez, Josh. That's oh. an eight. So, I complete the challenge. I also showed a result of a wisdom, which gives me an experience point back. So, I get one back. I feel like he's cheating. I'm not cheating. So why do you have two on your sheet? Because one this of them is my, says this is counter. counter. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Uh, it's uh, just we only have two counters. Okay. So you have found the place of power. <laughs> I like how even Chad's like cheating. So I found the place of power, but I also found a animal companion. What kind of animal companion? Um, a really big cat. It's Lucy. He's helping you hunt. Yeah. He got Lucy. Makes sense. Here. Of course. Why don't you use that as your counter? Yeah, that's a good idea. Your, so that we don't get your purple tabletop talisman so, meeple necklace that's so. available on the Twist Gaming Store. Okay, so you got your anim big old kitty, Animal Companion. And that gives you the ability of you may spend one experience or sacrifice this alley to gain uh, plus one constitution until the end of the turn. All right. So that your allies are going to go to the side. They don't go under any of your cards. They're kind of a separate thing. Okay. Uh, so note, once someone collects three uh, Act 1 cards... That's when Act 2 will start. Not okay. when all of us complete yes. it. So Act 2 will fold over. People who still have less than 3 are still going to go after Act 1 cards and can't go to Act 2 until they have 3. Oh, so okay. Now so it would just, that's just what starts Act 2. Yes. But it only starts for the people that have at least 4 or 3. 3 Act 1 cards. Now that you've completed an Act 1 challenge, does the next one immediately come up? Yep, the next one will immediately come up. Uh, the other thing Stand is to me so I can show it off. the game ends when someone gets the third 3 Act. Act 3 challenge. Okay. And gotcha. everyone else gets one more turn in that round. So okay. this one is Train as a Spy. So this is Dex and Charisma, and it's the Thieves Guild. Plus one, you can train as a killer. All right, so I'm up next. Um, yeah. yeah. You know what? That one's perfect for me. I have Dex and Charisma for mine because I'm the beggar, so of course I'm going to do the Thieves Guild. So the question is, do I want to train as a spy or train as a killer? So that's going to give me plus one... Uh, to my dex as a thief and plus one as to my charisma as a spy. Right. Um, I don't think that I'm going to get the four cost. Uh, you also get the story icon for that one too. I do. I'm just concerned that I'm not going to be able to do it. I don't want to risk as much corruption as you have there, John. However, your special ability is that whenever you fail the challenge, like if you don't fail the challenge, you're going to get two experience points. Yeah. So I'm, I'm comfortable with going for that one. Uh, I, I, Chat wants you to go killer. And no, want the, I, I don't want the beggar to be a killer, Matt. I, I'm going to train as a spy. I'm, I'm playing it safe, even though I was born lucky. I'm playing it safe because I'm, I'm a beggar. Beggars can't be choosers, even though I'm choosing my fate. Um, <laughs> you gave him one of the. Oh, it's just got the the. Ah, gotcha. Thank you. So I'm casting my three. So I'm going to go ahead, and I need three to succeed. So. 
fifty percent chance. Twenty five. So I have a one eighth chance. Oh, do you, do you have your what? Oh, thank you. I need a Dex rune and I need a Charisma rune. Charisma rune. There you go. Would oh. that be the Dex rune that I already just gave him? All right. So let's do it. Ah, I I succeeded. Yeah, that's. You should have. I should have went for. That's a seven. Oh, yeah, I should have trained as a killer. I didn't, though. So, I trained as a spy. I mean, beggar spies are, are typical. It is. That, that's... So, now I'm going to get an extra constitution, and uh, a charisma, every time I go now. Yeah. Cool. So, a uh, new one comes out, and then this is going to be the Harness Dark Power, Anne. Uh, so, this one's going to give you a anti-hero card and an intelligence if you succeed. It's a four cost, and it does constitution, and it does intelligence. And the other one is you can resist temptation, which is going to give you a story icon and a constitution. Okay, I have a question. Yeah. What's the significance of these again? Those are what abilities you can use in this challenge. So, you're looking for things that give you that you can use dexterity? And or, and or constitution, or constitution. for your character. Oh, okay. So I can only use the rune, the rune if it's on there. Oh, yeah, you can only Correct. use it. So, so then this is out of the question for yeah, me. Because you can't use any But runes. I can do any one of the other three. Because yep. you match one of them. You don't match both of them. Josh right. and I got lucky enough that we matched both of our symbols to our challenge that we were doing. Well, that's weird. But, it, okay, so, but this one doesn't have the plus one by resist temptation. Yeah. Uh, note, uh, you can spend one experience point once per turn. To discard one of these cards and draw, and draw a new one. That sounds like a terrible And you do that before or after. So, like my ability here, where I want to screw someone over, you can also do that yourself by spending an experience point. So, if you saw that that Train as a Spy came out and you're like, oh, this is really good for Matt, I don't like that. I'm yeah. going to spend an experience here to wipe it off the board so he can't get it. Yeah, that's the little bit of take that in the game. And but you can only do that once per turn. Yeah. Okay. So, you can't just keep clearing the board with a bunch of experience. Note your experience points are worth one victory point at the end of the game. Okay, so you don't want to spend them willy-nilly. Yeah. So, and which one of these challenges are you going so for? So, if I do call to arms and I do, it's I've got the two options. So, before, when I saw the two options, I thought that the plus one was the differentiator between the two challenges. No, nope. it's your rewards is what's going to be the differentiators here. So, this one here, the Enlist in the Militia, says? is going to be a one, four cost right. for attack or strength and constitution. Right. So you can either enlist in the militia, right. which is going to give you one triumph and one strength, mm -hmm. or you can defend your village, which is going to give you one story icon, which is part of the set collection victory points for the end of the game, and one constitution. <coughs> However, this card also has an ally underneath it, so it's going to add plus one cost. However, if you succeed, you're going to get the boon of the ally as well. Okay, so I am going to spend... I'm going to do Enlist in the Militia. Okay. So I'm going to be able to use my three starter runes plus my one constitution rune. Correct. And I'm going to do... I'm going to go for the Mentor, and I'm going to spend... So you always go for the... You can't... You always get the ally. You always get the ally. It, it's attached oh. to this, so it's going to be a five. So oh. would you, you can't choose to not get it. Would you rather enlist in the militia or defend your village? I would like to... Which one sounds more fun? I think that I should increase my constitution. Should I specialize or should I go broad? You know, variety is the spice of life. Um... I think I'm going to defend my... Vi no, I'm going to do Enlist in the Militia because Josh was talking about how difficult it was to go up on the Triumph. That's the Triumph track, right? No, that doesn't put you up on there. That just gives you a point. Yes, oh. that's a Triumph point. Then I'm going to do... Def defend your village? So the set collection is I have to get... Explain to me set collection. Multiples of the same symbol. Yeah, so you have to at least two of those to get any points. So if I get another, I'd have to get another one down the road. Correct. Okay, so I'm just going to get the Triumph. I'm going to do Enlist in the Militia and I'm going to go for the Mentor. I'm going to spend two experience points to get two of the Dark Runes because who doesn't love to meddle in Dark, dark arts? arts? Yeah, there we go. You do and have a lot of Revengeance. I feel like Rage and everything is behind you. If you know her personally, you'd say that that's true. So you did I, get one Corruption there, though. I did. Right? Right, because that's the corruption? That's corruption. Yeah, so you're going to move down one on the tracker. Okay, I did that. Oh, I'm sorry. Everyone's supposed to get a hero card at the beginning of the turn of the game. Oh. I forgot to mention that. Okay. So uh, I'm just going to give myself. So I got sneak attack. So play this before you face a challenge. Are these private knowledge? Yeah, these or? are private. Oh, so. cool. So this is an example <laughs> of one. Uh, so this is sneak attack. Play this before you face a challenge. Add an extra strength or dex rune to your attempt. So that's an example of one. I'm not taking that. So we're all going to take one secretly. So there you go, Anne. And there you go, Josh. 
So we have this in our hands. Hmm. Hmm. I can only use this once. Yeah, but it's going to give you one point at the end of the game for using it. Okay, well, that doesn't change anything, and I don't think that I... Okay, so, fine. So I took the corruption, but this is one point. That's two points. Oh, okay, so two... What about this one? That's not worth any points. That's you get to grab a hero or an anti-hero card. Oh, that's poop. So, I, but I didn't get my challenge, right? But you get to grab a card. No, no, you got four, Anne. She needs my five. five. Oh, you need five. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you can grab a hero or anti-hero card. So, but was that maybe mean? if you pull good, you can use an ability? Oh, this might keep you run. Okay, so I failed my challenge, but because I'm the pickpocket and Matt is awesome, whenever I fail one of those challenges, I can try again. So Second. does she still get the corruption? She still gets corruption. She still gets her card. Okay. So I get like a second turn? Pretty much. Yeah. You got to redo. Do I, do I want a hero? I do want a hero. Okay. Okay. And, and you can see if that helps you with the challenge to beat it or not. Okay. There's an icon on this card that we have not discussed that's, yet. This, I, I, sorry, that's, He's looking at your hand. I didn't mean. You, you said Is it icon a sun? on the card. It's a sun. That, it means so the sun the would move you up on that tracker when you play it. Oh. So why wouldn't I want to? Okay. All right. So then I'm rerolling. Just wait. The other thing, what's your vow for vengeance? When I fail a challenge or sacrifice an ally, I gain an extra experience point. Oh, so I failed the challenge, so I get an extra experience point. And hey. you try it again. Hey, this is pretty good. So you're going to get two because you failed. You get to try again. Everyone gets one when they fail. You get an extra one when you fail. Do I get to add, do I get to buy my another rune now? Your dark runes go away. They were only for that first try. So she can spend more so you can experience spend more to get them again if you want to. Okay, so then I'm going to spend... Anne's going full evil. You no, know, you have two cards there. Note. I don't know if those help you or not, either or. Yeah, he said... Is that the thing? And if you go down with corruption track more, you can't use those hero cards. Oh, oh, that's poopy. Okay. Oh, that's true. I didn't but so if it. I play this, then I can go up on the tracker, right? Uh, if that's what it says. Okay, look, that's what it says. Since you're sneaking in my hand anyway. You're terrible. Terrible! Gain Deny the dark one! Gain one or choose an opponent to gain one. Oh, so you could mess someone up if they're going for the darkness track. That's okay. actually really cool. Okay, so but I can use that and I can go up now? Yep. Okay, and that's it? Yep. Good so you talk? go back up to neutral. Okay. Um, I'm going to spend all three of my experience points. And all I'm three? Gonna, yeah. Full evil. Full evil. And then put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. These cards stay here because these are worth points at the end for you. Oh, okay. Okay. So you just want to keep them on the side. Cast! <laughs> Cast ah! away! Quit touching my cards! Oh, yeah. Full oh, yeah. Evil. Two corruption. Oh, yeah. Full evil. Okay. So I go down two on the corruption tracker. But the good thing is that each of those are worth two points, right? Yes. So it's four, five, six, seven. And then this is worth how many points? Two, two. points? That's two Eight. constitution so points. That's nine. Nine. So I, I did all of it. Yep. You did. So you're going to get that uh, boon to your character. So you're going to gain the Defend Your Village bonus. So you got the justice set collection thing there. You've also got the extra constitution, so you're going to have... No, 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 no. Unless she, she enlist in the militia. I thought you defended your village. No, no I did not. Enlist in. Oh, sorry. Uh, so you're going to get plus one triumph and plus one strength. Yes. So you're going to roll, or you're going to cast a strength rune at the beginning of your challenge. And this goes here? Now on. Yeah. And you also gained a mentor. So the mentor is going to give you... That's the story icon there, right? Yep. Okay. And then you may spend one experience or sacrifice this alley to gain uh, plus one wisdom until the end of your turn. So you got possibly plus one wisdom. It just goes off to the side. Okay. All righty then. So that's going to refresh again. And so we have learning to fight dirty. So oh. learn to fight dirty. That is a dex and strength challenge. So that's street fight. So you can either learn to fight dirty where you get an extra dex and you get that story icon, or you can become a brawler, which is a anti-hero card and a strength rune. So, Josh, it's going to go back to you, buddy. And what are you going for? Friendo? Buddy? Pal? Don't call me friend, pal. Anything, so... What did we say, could... buddy? So what are your runes again? I got two wisdom and a dexterity. Two wisdom and a dexterity. And what? what's your hero again? His uh, name's Bob. I'm a hunter. Oh, oh you're the lone hunter. And I found a place of power. I mean, I feel like you would excel in your solitude. I'm just saying. I, I'm thinking about that. But I think he found himself his throne in a quiet place. I think that's called the restroom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not fans of any of these. I'm, I'm going to discard. You're I'm going to use my ability of the lone wanderer to discard the dangerous artifacts. Okay. And then you're going to be replacing that with... 
Ooh, this is a pretty one. The Raging Inferno. So this is a constitution and wisdom challenge. You can either survive the flames. This is only a three cost to, to complete this one. So this okay. is a cheapy. You either get a plus constitution, or you can heal the wounded, which is going to be plus one challenge, but you're going to get a triumph and a wisdom. All right. I'm going to do that one. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to heal the wounded. So through the fire and the flames, you'll carry on? Yeah. So you're going to do a four. Yeah, so I need to do a four. So I have this. I have two wisdom. Okay. Two wisdom. Yes. And is it, what's the other one on there? Constitution? Mm -hmm. Wisdom and constitution. I'm going to spend one experience point to use my ally to give me constitution. Ooh. Okay, so cast away. And you got a lot. One, two, three, four, four. Five, six. So you got I'm six. I'm going to get experience point because I rolled a wisdom from my ability on the hunter. Oh. And okay. I picked this up. So and you are getting what again? I'm healing the wound, so I get one triumph point and another wisdom. So now I have three wisdom. So now when I go, I get to use the third wisdom. Which is going to give you? Which will give me a hero card if I roll that side. That's nice. All right. So okay. then, oh, look at this. Oh. Wilson! <laughs> Uh, childhood Rival. <gasps> so Childhood Rival is four, and that is a strength and a charisma challenge. So you could either win a foe's loyalty. Why are you giving me the two fingers? Uh, you can finish that. I gotta... I'm glad that you... You're permitted. That I'm permitted. So that's a story card and a charisma for doing that one, or you can crush your rival, which is going to be one uh, tragedy and one strength. Sir. So I'm going to play my hero card that I had, which is Glorious Victory. If you overcome a challenge this turn without using dark runes and your results exceed the difficulty by two, gain three experience. So I got six. It was a challenge of four. Okay. Hmm. I'm actually going to do that, uh, the childhood rival, and I'm going to try and win a foe's loyalty. Are you trying to build up your charisma some more? I am. I'm, I'm a very charismatic beggar. Uh, so are you the poor baker's son? I'm the Paul Baker's son. <laughs> That's really a spy. He's trying to learn the uh, rival baker's recipes. Okay. There you go. I'm very lucky, too. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to cast away. So I'm going to need my three base runes. I need two charisma runes. Two charisma runes. Yeah, and I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to spend no experience. I'm not going to spend any experience. So it's a, it's a four challenge grade to get that, correct? Yep. Okay. So I know I'm going to roll at least two from my charisma, correct? At least two. So I should be okay. And then I also have my ability of lucky, which is going to be let me spend an experience to flip one over. Okay. So the nice thing about this lucky ability is I seem to not have to rely so much on the dark runes for the closer ones. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. So that's a five. I got a five, but I also can draw a hero or villain card. Or a hero or anti hero card. So two, four, five. This is zero points, but hero or anti villain, and then you have your blank. Anti hero. Anti hero. Anti -hero. That's a so hero. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to gain this. So I have won my foe's loyalty. So this actually upped my charisma. So now I'm going to be throwing three charisma runes. So what's my third charisma rune give me, Josh? Uh, the third charisma rune is going to give you an anti hero card. Well, that's interesting. If you roll it. So I'm going to go ahead and take a hero card then. Okay. So, hmm. Well, that's really cool. All right, so we're going to get a new Act 1. So the next one comes out, and it is spiritual. So this is a, our first trait that came out. So this is you get that story and a wisdom, and you may not gain this if you have any tragedy. Trage tragedy. tragedy. And then you also gain an experience. Yes. Yeah. Well, I can't take that. So you can just say you're doing that instead of going for a challenge. Yep. And so you you're, you're going to pray at the temple then. Mm -hmm. Cool. So that gives you a wisdom. Yeah, it's useless for me because I have three wisdom. Any more wisdom I get isn't going to help me. <laughs> you're so more. conceited, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> I already know everything. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I cannot pick this up because I have a uh, tragedy already on my board, right? Yep. I'm already down the tracker. You are very tragic. Yeah. I am very tragic. So what I am going to do... You also have it from here, too. Oh, your Vow of Vengeance. Oh, my Vow of Vengeance gives it to me? Yeah. Oh, okay. I can't get it because I have the Lone Wanderer. I can get it. I'm Matt fine. I can get it because he's it. a goody-two-shoe. <laughs> I like that reason. Even though there's holes in my shoes because I'm the beggar. 
Okay, I am going to do the street fight. Of course you are. Street rats getting in a street fight. Oh, you yeah. Learn to fight dirty or become, become a brawler. brawler. So the brawler will give me an anti-hero card and, and a strength. And a strength of that one would give you that story element and, and a dex. dex. I am going to become a brawler. Okay, so you're going to throw your dex runes, your strength runes, and your base runes, and you're going to need a total of four to complete this. Okay, so I got my strength rune, I got my dex rune, and those are all the runes that I get. So now I have three. I have no experience points. I like that you're a brawling pickpocket. That's oh, kind of, that's like very so weird. Because I can't get in the, in the military. Yeah. Because I started off as a... Militia. Pickpocket in the... Uh, what's my what do I have to roll? Four? Four. Four. Yes. And you cast oh, one, five. two, three, four, five, and you get to take a hero or anti hero card. Okay. I will be taking an anti hero card, please. And you get another anti hero card for getting the brawler, so you're gonna get two anti hero cards. Thank and you, sir. you get an extra strength rune for the future. And then that goes just right there. Correct to Mundo so so we get a new level one, and this is going to be oh the first love. Uh, so this is plus one. This is an ally, so we're going to get something on top of this. So this is going to so, give plus one challenge to get it. So but it's going to give you. You may sacrifice this ally. That's dark. <laughs> <laughs> you can sacrifice the first love ally to gain a corruption and two experience. So allies work a little bit different only when they come up make turn. And actually decides what challenge that's going to go under. Oh, and then it gets some. It gets replaced with something else. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um. Well, I think that the best place to fall in love is in a library. But you got to spend a lot of time there. Oh, you can uncover the hidden lore. Yeah. No, I want it in the forbidden lore because that's where you find the cool people, in the creepy places the of the cool book. People. Yeah, in the creepy. Not at the school. No. So we Nerd. are revealing another ally. So you get to put that. You can put that in the same spot if you want. So master at arms, and this is you may spend experience or sacrifice this alley to ga to gain strength until the end of the turn. I like how you call it alley. I keep doing that. <laughs> I'm enjoying it. Yeah. Okay, no, look, it's going under the same one, and let me tell you why. First love because is you were master at arms. you were in, you were searching to uncover hidden lore, right? In the library, and then in your search, you got into no fight. And it was a sword fight, like fencing. So, I don't know how it happened, but you, it was fencing. You know where my brain goes to with this? I'll let you finish. Okay. I'm going to let you finish. <laughs> uh, and then you find out that you're, that the person that fought you is also after the forbidden lore. And then and you they're fall. they're also after your heart. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know what my mind went to was uh, it went to Pirates of the Caribbean because that artwork kind of reminded me of that scene where Orlando Bloom and Jack Sparrow were, were fighting, and then it, it kind of got me into like the first love with with Kara Knightley and Orlando Bloom, their characters, and then I started getting in my head. This is the <laughs> tale. <laughs> oh, Captain Jack, Jack Sparrow. Sparrow! All right, and then we have a new one that's coming up here of Studious. So this is another trait okay. card. This is not another challenge. This is one is going to give you either an intelligence. Oh, it's going to give you, I'm sorry, it's going to give you an intelligence and then that story trait there, that story card, and then you may only gain this if you have intelligence or spend one experience. Okay. And this is now, whose turn? Jersh. Me now. Jersh's turn. Jersh, it's your turn. Irma Gersh. Irma Gersh. Irma Gersh. Gersh. So, remind me again, we're going to go to level two when someone has three level one cards or if they've completed three level one challenges. If they have three act cards under their... Okay. Perfect. Their origins. Uh, so traits or challenges. Gotcha. So I can pick this up, and it would be the end of Act 1 for me. Okay. Um, but that doesn't seem like fun. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you going to do, Josh? This this forbidden lore, I'm not... I don't... You should do it. I don't care for... I, I would love to be able to do it. Do it. But... It's a it. six. I only have one dexterity, though. Mm. Yeah. You are very clumsy. So I'm not that good, and I would need to get a six. Do it. You can go the dark route. Join the dark side. Or I can just say, you know what? I'm just going to discard that, that challenge and just throw those all to the sides, and or no one ever gets it. Or you couldn't excel in your solitude. Excel in solitude would be easy. That's <laughs> you says, do quite a good job of that. It says studies. 
Oh. It says studies? <laughs> it does. Oh, I, I can't <laughs> read upside down. Sorry, guys. <laughs> no, I'm totally okay. Dark well, Josh. you know. Uh, it, let's, let's, let's go for the forbidden lore. Yes! Are you and throwing it away? Or are you going I'm, go, I'm going to learn dark secrets. Of course you are. So you're learning the dark secrets. No. It's going to be uh, four, no, I'm sorry, six decks or intelligence. All right, so I got that. I'm going to spend three. Three. Of course you are. To get three dark runes. I kind of hope he fails. Uh, he did One, not two, fail. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just enough. And you got Just no enough. corruption and either. You got no corruption again. Jesus. Would you like a hero or anti-hero card? I would card? take the anti-hero card. Doesn't he have to take an anti-hero card? Oh, yeah. for that. For that. Sorry, for that. just kidding. You know, I feel like Josh got a card that's telling him to go the dark route because he seems very upset when he's like, I got no corruption. Right, so that's a good card. I'm going to get another anti-hero card because I learned Dark Secrets. Why is that a good card? Because it is. <laughs> What's on it? Uh, words and pictures. <laughs> he's he's going to be sacrificed. Pictures? Like love. lemonade pictures? Very soon. Play this turn. Oh, I'm wearing <laughs> Play that one, Josh. Well, look at that. This one's calm your attacker. So I'm so <laughs> just armed that's robbery. Not, that's not a that sentence. Finish in my head. Calm your attacker. Uh, so you can either get some... Uh, I can't speak right now. Charisma. Charisma, which I'm maxed out at. Or defend so are you, your family, which are you is plus Batman? one challenge. And that's going to give you a constitution and that justice story cards. I'm Batman. <laughs> so there was an armed robbery. Do I want to defend my... So this is me. So I've, no, when it comes to my turn, the action cards are No one cares about your turn. Um, so I have the beggar that's training as a spy that won my foe's loyalty. I'm pretty lucky. Got all the charisma in the world. <laughs> I mean, what you won your won foe's loyalty. That's I, pretty I, lucky. I'm very charismatic. What can I say about myself? You know, though, I think that the reason that I have won my foe's loyalty is because... You're just going to pick up the card. <laughs> <laughs> that charisma looks like Bart Simpson's hair. <laughs> yeah, it does. Uh, I, I think it's because I've become a pious beggar. So I'm going to be... I'm going to get spiritual all up in here. So that's going to give me that story That's not element. spiritual. That's studious. Studious. I'm sorry. Studious. I can't speak. So I, Did you I want studied. the spiritual one? No, no, no. It's fine. So I, I done studied. So I had time and as what, a beggar to read some books. And what do you need to get that? Uh, you, oh, I don't have that. I have to spend an experience. I'm going to spend an experience to get that. I'm okay with that. Okay. So that's going to give me plus one intelligence. And I'm a smart beggar. And... And then you'll be on Act 2 as well. I will be on Act 2. Okay. Act 2 popcorn. Next one to come up. Oh, that looks cool. It does look cool. Banish <laughs> the Restless Spirit. Ooh. <laughs> so this is a Wisdom and Charisma Challenge. You can either banish a ghost, or you can gain a Spirit Guardian, which is going to give you plus one Charisma and then that story element, but it gives you plus one challenge for that one. So Anne's oh, going to go yeah. to you. Which one are you doing there, buddy? Well, I don't have wisdom. Let me see what you got right there. Move your fingernails. So you oh, so if you didn't enlist in the militia, I think if you did the other one where you're defending your village, you would have gotten the the scales of justice story element, yeah. and then that would have been you know defending your family. So you would have been the hero that we needed and deserved. <laughs> that was funny. You really are on the route to be Batman. <laughs> I am. Um. Oh, this kind of sucks. Why does it kind of suck? Because there's nothing on the... Well, I could do calm your attacker. You can do that. I mean, what are your what are your abilities? Strength, constitution, and dexterity. Uh, dexterity. And you excel in strength right now. Yep. So. Except there are no strength challenges out on the board. No, that's not strength. That's sorry. not a strength challenge. I can't read upside down. So I'm gonna have to do calm your. I'm gonna have to do the armed robbery. Do okay. your cards let you manipulate the board at all? You have three of them there. I don't know if they help you. you at got all. Well, I cannot play there. my hero because I've got four tragedy. N no. So what? What's your plan here, Anne? Are you going to calm your attacker, or are you going to defend your family? You could sacrifice your mentor to get a wisdom, and do the academy if you wanted. Or the, the Restless Spirit. You don't have any experience to get rid of it, but you could do that. That is a choice. The choice is yours and yours alone. And then I would get one wisdom 
Uh, no. Mm. I guess it doesn't make a difference because I only have one constitution, right? But if I fail a constitution challenge, I can roll again. So I'm going to do armed robbery. Okay. And, and are you coming your attacker or defending your family? Um, Would you rather get the charisma or the constitution? But it, And then I'd have to be plus one to get the... Right, so it's a four to do that one. The constitution. Mind you that it's it's a uh, it starts as a three. It doesn't start as a four, like some of the more difficult ones. I think that I'm go oh because it's a I'm gonna do defend your family. Okay, so it's gonna be a challenge of four. You're gonna roll your three base runes, your constitution rune. You have one of those, mm -hmm. and, uh, and that's it. That's it. So you're rolling. You're throwing four runes. Okay. You need four, and you rolled three. No, you rolled five. I rolled five. Sorry, I, I didn't see that. So. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Great success, Anne. So you defended your family. You're going to get plus one constitution, and you're also going to get that scales of justice symbol right there. Thank you, sir. Batman. Batman. I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. I'm Batman. <laughs> so do we replace that, or do we wipe level one now, since everyone's uh, at... Technically, that's replaced, but we can just wipe level one, because it's everyone's there. Okay. Also, board cam. All right, so go ahead and... Roll. Goodbye, level one. Let's I'm show just gonna off shift it up. the level two ones. So I'm going to do one at a time here. So these should be a little bit harder, correct? Should be a little bit harder, and we're going to start seeing our adversaries. <laughs> this is when Josh is going for this one. The, uh, the true love card. Oh, look how cute. Which is you may sacrifice this ally to, ally to gain a corruption and three experience. So Josh is just going to... Murder lovers. Yeah. Josh is becoming the Black Widow of this campaign here. How did you heal the wounded, then learn dark secrets, and then murder everybody? So I found a place of power. So, so the story of this hunter, he found a place of power. Yeah. The bathroom. Yeah. There he learned... He <laughs> Great learned and terrible magic. things. <laughs> He found he found wounded people. He healed them, but they betrayed him. So then he killed them, and they started learning dark secrets and became a lone wanderer. I like it. I like that, it. That, that's that's the beginning, the origins of my so, my hunter. So the ally was the first card. So we're gonna put another card on top of that, correct? Since Anne's turn was last, she gets to decide where the ally goes at the end. Okay, so we'll hold this off to the side. That's cool. So we've got the power. Trench warfare. So this is. <gasps> A wisdom and a uh, strength a challenge. It's five. Uh, this would give you a, a hero card and plus one strength if you lead an attack. Or plus ten to the injured. Card. And then that would give you uh, one triumph and one wisdom. So that's option number one there. Option number two, we've got inventive. So this is another trade card here. So this is going to give you an intelligence, an anti-hero card, and that symbol. And that is you may only gain this if you have dex and intelligence or spend to experience. All right. Then we've got the Warlock. So this is an adversary card. So this is a new card here, Josh. Yeah, so the, these, you don't have a choice. It's just someone you fight. They're typically harder than challenges. So this is a six. And it requires wisdom and intelligence. Yep. And then this one is, if you defeat this adversary, gain an anti-hero card, and it's going to give you an intelligence and three triumph, as well as the symbol. So that's, that's a nice one there. And then finally, we've got climb this. Well, we've got uh, for the frozen peak. So this is a constitution and wisdom challenge, and it's going to be a five challenge to, to to beat it. You can climb the summit, gain two triumph and a constitution rune, or you can find lost wisdom, which is a hero card, one triumph and one wisdom. So Anne, where is the ally going? Um, I think that. So, not to meta game here. Oh. But. Yeah. Mind you, yeah. it seems that that card is going to be something Josh goes after. So putting it under something that is more difficult for him to attain might be beneficial. You ruined my story about how they met on the battlefield. Because love is a battlefield. battlefield. And I'm going to have to put him on the warlock. Fine. Fine. <laughs> Fine. Maybe the warlock is his first love. Maybe he... You defeat the warlock in battle, and then, then they're just like, oh my god, you're awesome, I love you. Lurf. 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 So, uh, Josh, I believe it is your turn. So where are you going, buddy? Uh, just a second. I want to see something. Uh, he's trying to see how he can cheat. Yeah, he's, he's definitely cheating. Uh, right I'm now. not 100% sure if you put an ally under a... Warlock? Uh, an adversary? Card. Adversary? <laughs> anniversary? That's what it is. It's the true love's anniversary. And? Yeah. Make love lock, not warlock. 
<laughs> That's punny. That's punnerific. Puntastic. That's all. I think that we should do a stream where we wash Josh. <gasps> where we wash Josh? <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> no, no. I have the best idea for a stream. Hold on. What's your story? Okay, no. I I'm going to get... Wait. Story. We're going to get Josh a red velvet robe yeah. and a bubble pipe. Yes. And we're going to watch him read a rules book. Okay. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> so did you find what you're looking for? I did not. We'll say it works. I mean, we can we can Maybe. riff a little bit while you're looking. Uh, it's it's not in the rule book. Okay. Allies were in expand <clears throat> uh, stretch goal, so it's not in the original rule book. For adversaries the exact rules or allies. The allies. allies were okay. And stuff. I, I, adversaries might be too, so I'm not 100 percent sure how they work. And it, this didn't come up in my demo, so. Okay. <clears throat> um, but with that, I'm gonna uh, say that you fall in love with your adversary. I, I am going to attack the warlock. Of course you are, and you're gonna spend three experience. He doesn't have three experience. He only has one. All right, so love is a, a battlefield. battlefield. You may not attack the warlock unless you sing "Love is a Battlefield," but only for under five minutes, so that we only for under five seconds, so that we don't get copyright infringement. All right, I'm just look at my cards here. Copyright infringement. <laughs> I have three wisdoms and an intelligence. Three wisdoms. So this is a seven for me to beat him. He also said he wasn't fans of one of the other cards, and I thought it was really funny. Yeah, he's got split personality disorder, so that uh, makes he's, sense. he needs seven to beat him. So you're rolling your three base runes, you're rolling your three wisdom runes? Yep. You have three wisdom runes? Why don't you give him runes. that one if he has three wisdom runes? Uh, I'm going to spend one experience to roll one dark. That's my last experience. That's wisdom, wisdom. Wi they all have wisdom. Okay, never mind. Sorry for jumping down your throat, Anne. So that is a one, two, three, four. Is the attack one of them? Yeah, it is, I guess. All right. Two, four, six, seven, eight. That's uh, that's enough. It is. So I have I have my first love and I have my true love in the warlock <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> He's got his his main chick and his side piece at the same time. Uh, when you defeat this adversary, I'm gonna get an anti-hero card, but I'm also gonna get a hero card because of that the rune. rune I rolled. There you go. Take the damn thing. And uh, then that's being replaced with Savage Beast. Oh, Josh, look, it's you. Uh, so you can, I, this is a charisma and wisdom challenge. You could either commune with nature or sue the savage beast. Because I'll never be your beast of burden. So the, uh, the commune with nature is going to give you a wisdom and that story element. And then soothing the savage beast is going to give you a hero card and a charisma. So it's back to me now. Yes, sir. <clears throat> I have lots of charisma. I've got an intelligence and I've got a dex. So I'm trying to see what I want to do here. And you know what? I'm feeling inventive right now. Are you? I'm I'm just going to... I know. I do just, you, have, you have wisdom? I'm oh, you studious. do. And, you know, listen. And dexterity. I've, I, I've got some free education under my belt as a beggar. I applied for the FAFSA and I got the... <laughs> full package? I got the, the full package. School. That's good. And, uh... You know, because I trained as a spy, I'm getting a little side action there as well. And I put on my application essay that I have won a foe's loyalty, and I gave like a really nice answer about how I'm really good at team building <laughs> and working with others. Uh, so thankfully, I got the full scholarship, and that is, uh, you know, I got into a really nice engineering college, so I, I've become inventive in my age. So I'm going to get that story element there. I'm going to get an anti-hero card, and I'm going to gain an intelligence. And I already do have an intelligence and a dex, so I'm good to go. GTG. GTG, bro. <laughs> well, I'm really happy that you chose Inventive because... <laughs> <laughs> the Crime Lord! Yeah. Look at that. He's there with his cat. That is Mr. Fluffy. Yeah. Mr. Brigglesworth. So <laughs> this is a six challenge adversary, and this is going to be a dex and charisma challenge, oh, which is actually perfect for me. Yeah. Uh, and that is, if a hero has corruption, one, one corruption, corruption or, or less, less, that hero has plus one versus this adversary. So... Good guys are a little bit better against them. Look at that. I'm actually, I'm pretty good. So th that means I'm not right because the corruption, because I've got yep. the four corruption? Well, you have two corruption. Why do I have two? Because you're two down on the track. Oh. You have four tragedy points because you're uh, down two corruption. Because I'm sure. Okay. Um, but it's still dex. Man, I'm so good with my constitution and nothing's coming out for constitution. Oh, Nothing. I guess climb the summit. Climb the summit has constitution. You have two strength, so you could do the tr uh, trench warfare. 
It's so absurd. People so have two in those. I mean, looking at your story, the trench warfare would be really good for your character. But the thing is, is that the bonus, the boon that comes with it, are these both of them are hero cards, and I can't play hero you cards. Can, you can do the other one. <clears throat> you can tend to the injured. Um, also, you could sacrifice your mentor for either of them to get a wisdom too. Yeah, but you know, you don't really want to do that. Why are these all? I think you should lead the attack. I have faith in you. To lead the attack. <laughs> it, it doesn't help me. You should have gone into government to get that constitution. <laughs> um, those are four points for you six. Another constitution if you do this one though. That would then this one. I'm just confused. But but like she was worried about the hero card. Like you get that in two points. Because currently you have two. two constitution. So that would give you your maxed out constitution. However, if you go for this one, that would give you your third attack, which would give you your maxed out attack. But I can't do anything with a hero card. And <laughs> I there's not a way Yet. on here to get back up up the track. It is points I found again, a, no? I found a card. Only if, Only if you play them. I mean, you can possibly get better as time goes on. <laughs> That's not happening, knowing you. I think... I'm going to, but, so why wouldn't I do the crime one? Because I would need a six, I would have three, and then I only have one dex, and that would give me the four to roll. Yes, yes. But I could re-roll it. Up to you, buddy. Up to you. Okay, this is what we're going to do. Okay. I'm going to just, I'm going to, I'm going to take on the crime lord. Of course you are. So you're taking on the Crime Lord. This is going to be a six challenge, dex and charisma, and you've got one dex, no charisma. Mm -hmm. So, go ahead. But you're playing the dis uh, Desperate Rage. For each tragedy you have taken, gain plus one to your next challenge attempt this turn. So you are at four? No. One? Oh, that. Yep. Just one. Isn't that two? It's for each symbol. The time the symbol comes up. Okay. So you're gonna gain plus one. So it's essentially a five for oh, you. Oh, I thought that that was that. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so essentially it's a five for me. So I'm gonna roll my one dex. And your three base. And my three base. Which makes it that you have to roll perfectly. Which you did. Not. Did not. Okay, but that's okay. So I did three, and then I get a hero or an adversary card or an anti-hero anti card. So, so I'm gonna an pull my anti-hero card. card. I failed the challenge, so I get an experience point. Two experience I points. failed a challenge because I failed the challenge, and that's my vow of vengeance. You failed the I failed the challenge because I failed the challenge. Uh, and <laughs> then, because of your ability, you can go again. Yes. Uh, okay. Um, also, uh, I failed the challenge. <laughs> so you learned a harsh lesson, Anne. So if you fail the challenge this turn, gain an additional two experience. Anne. Yes. Note if you <clears throat> note. If you played that first, you failed it, then played this, this would have gave you another plus one to your tragedy for uh, your rage. So, but well, then know. do I get plus one for the desperate rage because I played it? That only is for the first attempt, not for the second attempt. She's saying that since she played the desperate rage and that has a symbol on it, would that give her plus that one it, to that result? No, no. Okay. Because inherently... Well, this is this turn. So, yeah, you would still keep your plus one. So she succeeded then. So, okay, but then now the question is that I get one for my Vow of Vengeance. This is still my turn, and I've played Desperate Rage, and this is a second Dark Icon. I would say you don't, I would say you don't get it for this one, but you would get it for the harsh, the harsh lesson. So you get plus two. Why wouldn't I get it for both? Because this is for you that you have taken, and you... This would be played, and you haven't taken it yet. That, that's how I would read it. But she would get to use it on her retry? Because it says for the turn. But when... Okay, so but what's the verbiage for the I, dark runes? Does it say that you purchase them for the turn with your experience? No, it's, it's for... It was only for the first try. Okay. It's for each try, you can buy them. Okay, so then, yes, you would get plus two for this one. Okay, but not plus three... That's Correct. what I'm asking. Yeah. No, because the desperate rage, the, I'm sorry, the harsh lesson. Uh, yeah, I played it in this. Tragedy does not take place now because it's being played currently. Other way around. Harsh lesson is because I failed the challenge, so then I. It's saying that oi, that the harsh lesson, harsh lesson, and the vow of vengeance. Those are my two. Right. Uh. 
yes. I, I don't know, to be honest. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure. But this was the one that I was arguing was my desperate rage. Wouldn't the, would the card count for itself when you play it? And he's saying no because I haven't taken it because it's currently active. Okay. That's we'll interpret it that way. Cool. Uh, we're going to interpret right. it. I don't know. If interpretate it? Yep. Okay. So then two. So he's a six. So he's now a four for you. So he's now a four for me. I hope you fail so much. <laughs> <laughs> That's so rude. That's so Raven. That's so Raven. I am going to... Oh, no. I like that card. So also <laughs> your dex rune is guaranteeing you at least one. So technically you got to roll like three. I'm just confusing you. It's fine. Out of four. Do I want to throw one of these in there? I think nah. I, I think I do. Okay. Nah. I'm going to take a dark rune. Dark rune. Dark rune. Do it. Do and it too. So you got one, Thanks. two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six, seven. So that's enough. You did. So you got the crime lords. You're going to get four triumph and you're going to get and a, a corruption. Cause corruption. Cause and you're also moon. going to gain a charisma. Yes. So this is going to get replaced with captured. So this is going to be an a, a strength and a constitution challenge for five. So you're going to have to be pressed into service, which is going to give you two uh, tragedy and one constitution. Or you can break out of captivity, which is plus one challenge. You're going to get three triumph and a strength. So, Josh, it is your turn, buddy. And where are you going? Uh, Matt, note the last nope. card you got goes in your on your middle card, the act two cards. Goes in your motivation. Inventive. All right, so I need that. So where are you going, Josh? I'm going to do Trench Warfare, and I'm going to do... Oh, I didn't take a uh, anti-hero card for my inventive. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go to the Trench Warfare. Okay, so... I'm going to do the... You're going to delete an attack, or are you going to do 10 to the injured? He's going to 10 D to the injured. No, I need, I need to lead the attack. <laughs> All right, so you're going to lead the attack. It's going to be a five challenge of uh, wisdom and strength. And, yeah, so go for it. Do it to it, as they would say. How many runes are you casting? Uh, I have no strength, but I have three wisdom, so... Six. Six. So you did so four, five. five. So that's, that's a two that's or a five. three? That's enough. Okay. So um, he got five, and so he, that is enough, and he's also going to get an, a hero or an anti-hero card, and then he's also going to get an an, uh, uh, sorry, a hero card for leading the attack. So I'm going to take a hero and an anti-hero card. Okay, one of each. There you go. Wait! Dark Lord's Champion! <laughs> Play this after an opponent has faced a challenge. They must face it again. Now it has plus one. All right. I still get the anti-hero card because I still get from the room. Okay. That was so cool. you're doing it again. Now you have to roll six. It's actually very doable. He's very quiet. He is, which means he's... He's, he's uh, pissed off at you. Which is that, <laughs> that's what that means. Right. Or he's scheming. Are you scheming, scheming. or angry? <laughs> so you rolled three, four, five. Not enough. Wait, no, nope. wait, wait. I'm sorry, that is enough. Or is that's enough? four. That's it's four. only four. It's four. Oh, but what about this one? That's a hero. That's a hero. But hero the, and it doesn't count as a point. Uh, I need a. What do I need? Six. A six. Yeah. Um, play the certain challenge you're facing. Choose one rune and flip it over. Okay. Okay, that's so you six. flip that over. It's now a six. Do you have another some little something something you could add, Anne? Do you? I don't. No, I'm out. I'm out. That right. sucks. So I will take another anti-hero card. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and another oh. hero. Note. Note. I rolled two wisdom last turn, right? No. Well, the, or the last, the first time I tried it. I don't know what you rolled. I believe I had two wisdom, so I get two experience because I got I rolled my wisdom. So yes. Cheating. Yes, because it was and these ones. I got, I, yeah. <laughs> yes, he did. Roll, he did roll two wisdom, and yeah, I yeah. got one more ne this turn, so I get another, I have three experience now. And you're gonna get a hero card for leading the attack. Right. Cool. I hope so you're proud of yourself. He is. I'm proud of him. That's getting replaced with the Perilous Dungeon. So this is a constitution and a dex challenge. You can either delve into the darkness <gasps> or escape with treasure. 
Tracer. You leave that alone. <laughs> so what does Matt have? He has Constitution up the No, wazoo. Charisma. Charisma. I have Charisma. Just like he does in real life. Um, oh, thank you. I'm going to get rid of the <laughs> Savage Beast. Oh, you jerk. It's good. I didn't want that one. <laughs> <laughs> didn't want and it so, anyway. Oh, here, here we go, and This is for you. Vengeful. <laughs> So this is going to give you a constitution, scales of justice, which you already have one. Mm -hmm. Note. And you may only gain this if you have two corruption or more. You have three. Note you do. Note. Yeah. I do. It's duly noted. <laughs> <laughs> so what do I want to do here? Do the do. He wants the grease in the frozen peaks. Hmm. You can be pre captured and pressed into service. I'm going to do a little something here. I'm, I'm going to spend an experience, and I'm going to get rid of Vengeful. That's messed up. That's fine. And then there's Honorable. Honorable. You may only gain, gain this if you have a crown story icon or you spend an experience. Mm -mm. Hmm. Do I want a strength? I don't know if I do. <coughs> oh, really? I think Tell me how you really feel. <clears throat> therefore, I know. I therefore, I am. Therefore, I yam. Yam. I yam. I yammer quite a bit. Um, what do I want to do? This is difficult. Well, you... So what's everyone's, like, abilities and stuff? So you've got two constitution, two strength, and That's good. Mm-hmm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try something different here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get captured. So that's going to be a six challenge to complete that one. Why? Uh, because I am going to try to break out of captivity. So it's a five challenge, and it's plus one to break out of captivity. Um, and it's a strength and constitution challenge, and I've got neither of those. So you might think, wow, Matt, that was a really dumb move. Go ahead and say it. Wow, Matt, that was a really dumb move. But you know what? I am going to uh, pay Anne a experience and I am going to form an unlikely alliance with you so I'm going to add your runes to my next challenge that was pretty good so I'm going to add two constitution and two strength runes yeah. to my attempt that was really good you know I think so as well so let's I, I get my three base runes I'm going to need two strength and two constitution runes I feel like you captured him, Anne, and now he's bribing you to get out. I think that's probably more likely. Okay. So I got... Everything. Yeah. I'm One, good. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Cool. So I, I have uh, breaked, broke, broken, broken, broken out of captivity. Broke? Sure. I'm flat broke. So that gives me a plus one strength. That's nice. I feel good about myself there. Broke as a joke? So that's getting replaced with, you've been hit by, you've been struck by, smooth criminal. Da, this is going to give da, you da, 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 da. a dex, and you may only gain this if you have the, uh, the that story icon or spend an experience. Um, but it's going to give you a dex. So if I got that, then I'd have two dex, two strength, two constitution. It seems like you'd be very well-rounded. And a charisma. I think it's pronounced charisma. Charisma. Or yeah. I could do the Perilous Dungeon, and that would give me one tragedy and a constitution. Mm -hmm. That would give me my three constitution, or I could do escape. Well, no, I'm not going to do that because I don't need a hero card. Do-do-do-do. <laughs> Do-do-do-do. Do, 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 do I want to spend an experience? Experience points are worth victory points at the end. They are indeed. Uh, is going to go delve into the darkness. You're going to take a descent journey into darkness. <laughs> Journeys into somewhere that's not very well lit. So the perilous uh, dungeon. So you're delving into darkness. So that is going to be a room. I'm sorry, a dex and a constitution challenge. It's only going to be four. Okay, so I get my three basic runes. I'm going to get two constitution, please, good sir, and a dex, please. And you're really evil right now. I'm just letting you know that. That's a really rude thing to say, Matthew. In the game. Who's really the mean one? Is it the bully that's making fun of me, or is no, it Mr. the person? Grinch. I am a mean one. Mr. Grinch! That's a good cast right there. That is four, five, six, seven, eight. So I think you got it. That was only a four. So you've delved into the darkness. And Journeys you've come into back with the... a plus one uh, constitution, as well as another one of those uh, tragedy symbols. So that is being replaced with 
Repel a bandit attack. So uh, the roving bandits. You can either repel a bandit attack. This is a strength and dex challenge. Or you can hide from the fight. So that like is an a option. weenie. Like a chicken. So this is going to be your third attempt here, Josh. So you can possibly move it into Act 3. Into Overdrive. Good. So what are you going for? Uh, I'm going to discard Criminal because I'm not... Because you've been hit by... A smooth criminal. And so we've got a naval battle, belly button warfare. This is <laughs> an intelligence and strength challenge, and you can either lead a boarding party, or you can sink the enemy ship. You've sunk my battleship. No. Not bad. Not bad at all. Wow, still, Josh. I'm still the not happy with everything here. The emotion on your face is Not just bad. overwhelming. Overwhelming. Can you be Eeyore for Halloween? I'm going to play uh, Parting Ways, which is discard and replace one revealed challenge or trait. Okay. And let's get rid of the Frozen Peaks. Frozen Peaks. And that is getting replaced with the Corrupt Official. So this is a Strength and Charisma challenge. So you could either pay a bribe, which is going to give you an anti-hero and a Charisma, or you can resist arrest, which is going to give you the Scales of Justice, a Strength, and one Triumph. But it's going to have plus one challenge to it. All right. Josh, what are you doing? I'm going to take the Arnable trait. Arnable? <laughs> Hey, Arnable. Hey, Arnable. Okay, so, Arnable. So this is going to give you plus one strength and the crown icon. And do you have a crown icon? Yes, I do. There you go. And that is getting replaced with the Vault of Secrets. So this is a dex and intelligence challenge. So you could either unlock a secret vault, which is a dex and a hero card, or you can learn forgotten lore, which is going to give you that symbol as well as an intelligence. I thought it was a chamber. No, no, no. It's a vault. Oh. So it's my turn. I'm actually going to go for the Vault of Secrets. That one's that one's nice. I like that. The okay. Chamber of Secrets? The Vault of Secrets. So I'm going to have my three base runes, and I need two intelligence runes as well. Uh, so can you please give me... And a dex rune. So here is... One. Two. Two. And Two. a dex rune. Thank you. Did not. And I only need four for this one. So I'm guaranteed three. So I'm feeling pretty good. And ah. I got four. It's five. Five. One, two. One, two, three. And two blinks. So I have the learn forgotten lore. I've learned so much. So that gives me plus one intelligence. So I have a maxed intelligence stat now. And plus one of that story symbol. Okay, so I am on tier three as well now. So that is being replaced with the distant lands. And you can either, this is going to be an intelligence and a constitution, constitution challenge. You can either lead an expedition, and it's going to give you a constitution, or you can discover the unknown. So that's going to give you that symbol there, and an intelligence. I don't know, I'm loving that. Like McDonald's. I think one. One. One, two, two three. three. One, four, five. two. I don't know what you're counting. So your character is all over the place. You've got a charisma, you've got three constitution, you've got two strength. I think that I'm going dex. to do the corrupt official. Okay, so you're going to go for what side of it? Are you going to pay the bribe or are you going to resist arrest? <laughs> I'm obviously going to resist arrest. All right, so it's going to be a challenge of five, and it's going to be a charisma and a strength challenge. You're not getting me, copper! <laughs> So you're going to have your three base runes, yes. you have your uh, two strength runes, yes. and you have your one charisma rune. Oh, do I have a charisma? Yeah, oh, I yeah. do! Hey, look at that! And uh, this will give you a second justice icon. Yeah, that's what stories. I... Yeah. Okay, so what do I need to roll? You need to roll five. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And you got one. One, yeah, two, you got three, four, five, six, seven, and I got one of these little nifty things right here. So, are you taking a hero or anti-hero? Taking an anti-hero. Of course you are. And so, you are going to get scales of justice plus one triumph and another strength. Thank so you, sir. So you have maxed out your strength. Let's go to the bottom. the bottom. Cool. So we have completed tier two. So act we're going two. on to act two. So we're going on to act three. So I'm going to move these off to the side. Scooch, 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 scooch these up. 
and let's show off what we got here. So, first up, we've got the Dark Colossus. This is getting big. Hey. So this is a constitution and strength challenge, and this is right up your alley. That is. So this is, you can either climb the Colossus, which is going to give you four triumph and a strength, strength, or <gasps> plus one to bring down the Colossus. Guys, don't be mean and make that one go away. I want to do that. Of course you do. Uh, I've got no experience, so I can't. Then we've got the Ancient Evil. Man, it's a dragon. So it is a wisdom and an intelligence challenge. You can either banish the fiend, which is three triumph and a wisdom, or you can bargain for power, That's which cool. is an intelligence, two corruption, or two tragedy, I'm sorry, and that tragedy mask there. Next up, we've got Imprisoned. This is a constitution and a dex, so you have six challenge. You can either plot your revenge... <laughs> which will give you a constitution, the scales of justice, and three tragedy. Or you can plus one challenge it to escape to freedom, which is going to give you five triumph and a dex. And then finally, we've got the Dragon's Horde. <gasps> Seven challenge. It's a dex and strength. And you can either steal the treasure, which is going to give you a hero card, three triumph and a dex, or slay the dragon, which is going to give you plus one challenge. It's going to be an eight to complete that one. A crown icon, four triumph, and a strength. And I know which one Josh is going for. What am I going for? You're going to slay the dragon. Damn right, I'm going to go slay the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag slay. Matt, how much dexterity you got? Uh, I have one. And it's got one. One dexterity. Yes. You know, board do game do is do so do 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 do. wonky. Okay. So let's go sh slay a dragon. So I get my three basics. Because you are basic. Like what 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 can I use? I can use... Dex and strength. I have one dex. And how much strength do you have? I have two strength. Okay. And he's going to spend all of his experience to get three dark runes. Uh, and then he's going to get corruption for we're days. We're going to do... An are you slaying the dragon? Yeah, I'm slaying the dragon. It's eight that you need. Uh, to do an unlikely alliance. Ooh... I pay an opponent an experience. I will give the experience to Matt because I'm going to get the same benefit from both of you. Thank you. That was so salty. So I'm going to get a... Sh you have one strength, right? Yes. And you have one dexterity? Yep. Okay. All right. So since he's locked in his move and he can't revert it now, I'd like to point out that Anne has three swords, three strength on her thing. So I had two already. So you gave me my third one. I couldn't get any more. He's so salty. Mm -hmm. So salty. So it, it didn't so salty. matter. Um, Matt, can you scroll down? Didn't matter. All right, so slay the dragon. Okay. Really hope you have something here to monkey wrench with plans. Hope you do. I don't. I, don't, I haven't gotten any cards. Um, and I will pay Give. two experience to get two dark runes. I hope he gets 800 corruption. And lose the game. He did. <laughs> he you. did. So, 1, one two, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. An experience. Don't you also get a hero? got two corruption. Oh, yeah, don't forget your two corruption. I also get two experience for the dex rolled. I get two corruption. It took a long time with the corruption. Just, that Just out. in case we forgot. Yeah. So you are getting to, to slay the dragon, so you're going to get four triumph, you get the crown icon, and you get another strength. And so the dragon is getting replaced with the heroic rescue. So this is a dex and a charisma challenge. So we can call for mercy, which is a hero card, three triumph and a charisma, or save the innocent, which is going to give me the scales of justice, the three triumph, and the dex. Uh, mm. Matt, you could discard that one. I can discard that one. Yep. How about the Demon Hold? So that is a Wisdom and a Strength Challenge for seven. You can drive back a Demon Army. That'll give you a Wisdom and five Triumph. Or you can wield the Sun's Light. I'm just going to give you a Strength, five Triumph, and that symbol down there. So, trying to see what's out on the board here. These look like so many cool adventures. Gosh, you really screwed me up here. <laughs> You're welcome. Have Not a hero card I can't use. Very nice. 
Hmm. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? The do. You want to do the do. Do the do. So the triumph and the tragedy are worth the same amount of points at the end, Josh? Yes. There, there are certain modifiers, cards, your destiny card could have on those. Okay. So it could say your triumphs are worth plus one or your tragedies are worth plus one, but they're worth the same amount of points. Okay. So I have one dex, three charisma, three intelligence, and one attack. So you don't announce the cards as you're giving yourself those stats. What? Not very. Oh, I did that on purpose to make him discard that one because I thought for some reason there was something else on the board that was more beneficial. I didn't really want that one anyways, to be honest. Um, do, 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 do. What's it feel like to be me? I It's it's difficult. <laughs> I understand why. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do Imprisoned. Yeah. And you feel good about that one? Yeah, not really. And I'm trying to. I'm going to try to escape, escape. So that's going to be a freedom. seven challenge there. I'm going to go ahead and play all or nothing, and that's going to give me play this before you face a challenge. Add two dark runes to your attempt. So, let's see how this goes for me. So those are your three basic. These are your yeah. two dark runes, and then what do you have? Uh, one dex. Oh. Yeah, I, not a very well-rounded hero. Two, four, six, seven. Oh my goodness. Okay. And you didn't get any corruption. Yay me. So I have escaped to freedom. I got captured twice, guys. So For being lucky, I'm not very lucky. You escaped from your captors twice. I mean, I feel like that in and of itself is pretty lucky. I guess that's true. I guess. Okay. Bring out the next contender, please, sir. Sure thing. And so this is going to be... <laughs> the Warlord. This is an adversary here, Anne. So this is going to be an eight challenge of strength and constitution. This is right up your alley. And if this hero has no allies, if a hero has no allies, do you have an ally? You do have I an ally. Do. This adversary has plus one versus that hero. So you don't get that against you. Yeah, so you want allies to go against the Warlord. Yeah, so you're going to get oh. a strength, the crown, and six triumph if you complete this. And I already said stop getting captured, Matt. I, <laughs> you know... I escaped both times, so I broke out of my captivity and I escaped from freedom. I feel like if you're a spy beggar, you're getting captured because you want to get information, maybe. Oh. Or maybe you're just a really bad spy. No, that makes sense. I'm getting captured on purpose to get information, and then I'm breaking out because I'm so darn good at it. Or you're a really bad spy and you get captured all the time. No, I've learned too much. and There's no <laughs> way I'm bad at it. I'm just charismatic. I talk my way out of it. I'm just like, hey, guys, have you seen the movie Idiocracy? It's, hey, guys, I was actually supposed to be in the line to get out of prison today. So I'm in the I'm in the wrong spot. So that one is an eight challenge for me with constitution and strength, and I would get the crown icon and six triumph points, but I wouldn't get the strength because I already have three strengths. Yeah, correct. Hmm. If I do the Colossus, that's also an eight challenge, and I would get six. Uh, points, so it's pretty much the same thing for me. Correct. This would be six points, and you get the crown icon, so if you get another one, you can get another point later, possibly. Oh my god, it's a point later. Okay, and then I could get, or I could do the seven challenge and drive back the demon army and get the wisdom for five triumph points. You spend experience to get rid of one of those cards and get a new one. Good. That is an option. Then maybe there'll be like a justice scales that come out, and you could be like, I am the justice of this realm. I could hear you saying that for sure. Um, not sure if that's how it would sound if I would say that. Thanks. Uh, I find it amusing that she resists arrest, but she's all about justice. They were trying to wrongfully imprison her. Thank She's you. a vigilante. The cops are always after the vigilante. Is she Captain America? The, cap no, the cops I'm are always Batman. after Batman. No, I'm Batman. Captain America is the one that tries to get arrested. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. I'm, I'm Batman. I'm Batman. I think that I don't like these. So discard one. Very much. What one would be most beneficial for Josh? Now, he, you know he's got the crowns, so you can discard 
Do you have the crowns? Yeah, he uh, does. Make a note, I have four crowns. I can't. Any more I get will not give me any additional Note, points. he's too awesome at this game. And doesn't matter what you do. Where's your fourth one? My ally. He's hiding uh, stuff on that side of the table, so I can't see what he has. That makes sense. Yeah. Is that better, Matt? No, because I still can't see. Swear to me. <laughs> I think that I'm going to discard the Note. Warlord. Okay, Go so back. Warlord's going away, and he's getting replaced with the Assassin's Guild. So the Assassin's Guild is going to be a five challenge just for dex. And you can either destroy the Assassins, which is going to give you five triumph and a dex, or take over the guild, which is going to give you... It's plus one challenge, but it gives you six of the tragedy points. Yes, that's the one that I will be doing. I'll be taking over the Assassin's Guild. Do you ha you only have one dexterity, though. Don't tell her that. Um, How much is it? <coughs> uh, s Are you trying to take it over? Yeah. Six. I have one. That would give me four. It's a dex challenge. Oh, if I do corruption, then I'm going to get down to negative four if I roll a corruption. Do it. Do it. Um, I am going to... Do I need... Six. I don't know. You need at least one rune. To even make it possible. <sighs> Why? Because you need a six. So a perfect roll... Would yield you five. Would yield you five right now. Mm, yeah, it would. So... Use them dark runes, girl. Use them dark runes. Hashtag slay. Hashtag smoky eye. <laughs> <You're> dork. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Go big or go home. All right, so Which cast your runes. Do it. Let's see what you get. I hope it's not and a And you need a six. Uh, I don't see six there. How Maybe. much is this? One, two, three, four. How much is my corruption worth? Man. So that's How six. much is the other side worth? One. One. So you don't have enough if you flip it. No flippy flippy for you. But if I don't flip it, then I take the corruption and I go down to negative four. Correct a mundo. Okay. So, but if I flip it, then I fail the challenge. Yep. I think I'm going to okay with that. Okay. I'm going to fail the challenge. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to take an anti-hero. I'm not going to take the corruption. I'm going to take the experience because if I failed the challenge, I'm going to take the experience because... It's a dex challenge. It's a dex... Uh, yeah, because I... No, because I just failed the challenge. I'm going to... Where's the card you played to flip it? I didn't... Oh, that's this one. Uh, bend the rules. Um, choose a path this turn. Gain an additional... Hey, oh, can I play this now? I guess. Why not? Let's see it. Oh, let's see what happens. So you're tapping into the darkness. Gain one experience. If you choose a tragedy path this turn, gain an additional experience. Yeah, you would get two experience. So do I gain an experience now? Yep. Two. Oh, okay. Because you chose the path. That's cool. Um, okay, I am going to spend two experience again to take the two dark runes because God help me. Oh, man, I can't flippy flippy again. Oh, please don't get corruption. Okay. Work and don't get corruption. That's a five. That's not enough. Poopy. Okay. Well, it would have been better whatever. if she failed and got the corruption. It that would have made me happier. I would have cried. Get some more experience. That makes me sad. Okay. And you're the first failure. I am. Congratulations. Thanks. So, Josh, it's on you. What would you like to do with these beautiful? Josh is looking, right. and so the challenges I, are obviously getting harder here. They are getting harder. I'm gonna note that if you would have tried to destroy the assassins, you would have succeeded. I would but have because you wanted to become their leader. I did. I'm Different gonna get rid of the leader. demon horde. Okay, and that is being replaced with the divine calling, and this is a wisdom only challenge. So wisdom five challenge. You can be the champion of light. It's going to give you five triumph. That symbol plus one challenge to that, so it's a six. 
or the Servant of Darkness, which is going to give you the Sad Frowny Mask, the Anti-Hero card, and three Tragedy. So, Josh, what are you going to do, Bardair? I kind of want to do the Divine Calling. Kind of sort of. Do you have any Tragedy Masks? I don't, but I do have two of the stars. So I give me my third star. Oh, nice. You're doing good with the set collection. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah, let's do that. I'm going to become the Champion of the Light. That sounds so weird of everything I've done so far in my life. But So it's a wisdom, right? You are it is a wisdom challenge. You are right. not Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Batman. So I need a six? Correct. And what are you rolling? What are you casting? Uh, I have all three wisdom, so... That is that's a six. That's a six. I'm going to get two experience for rolling two wisdoms. So what's your ability that says that? Uh, whenever one of your runes shows a result of... Dex or wisdom, gain an experience. Gain. Nice. That's that's a really good trait. Okay. So I am a champion of the light. Meh. Meh. And that has revealed ooh, a new adversary, the sorceress. So the Sorceress is an eight-challenge adversary that uses Wisdom and... Charisma. Char charisma. And that is going to be, while this adversary is undefeated, once per turn, any player may pay one to draw an anti-hero card. But you know what? I'm going to go for her. That's um, what I'm doing. You already spent your experience no, I'm on gonna, that. I'm going to spend an experience to get that anti-hero card. Oh. <laughs> I want the card. Wait! Can I do that now? Yeah. While this hero it says is once per turn, once per so turn. don't you have to wait for your turn to do it? It comes up at the end of my turn. <laughs> um, okay. Sure, so I'm going to go for that. It's going to be a charisma and a wisdom challenge. I don't have any wisdom, but I have three charisma. So I'm going to get my three base, and I'm going to get my three charisma. That guarantees me three. I need eight, though. That's... That's rough. Um, I'm also going to play my brilliant plan. So this is going to give me plus one wisdom rune to my attempt. You can't get more than three, though. I don't have any wisdom, oh. so I'm going to gain I, wisdom. I'm oh, sorry. I gave you the wisdom ones uh, instead of the charisma. Sorry. That was my bad because I handed you the wrong ones. Sure was your bad. Can we not? Can we not? I mean, we probably couldn't. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to spend my experience to take a... Dark room? Uh, dark room. Dork, dork. Bork, bork, bork. Did you want to spend the experience to grab the... I don't have any more experience. Oh, okay. Ugh. That's a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that just gives me a dark room. That gives you a I mean, uh, an anti -hero, anti hero card. Oh, that sucks. Poop. So would that make you our second failure? It would. Uh, I do get two experience for failing a challenge, so I'm going to go ahead and spend one of the experience to take a dark uh, card now. Okay, that's, that's your one. So I got two. And it's passing you in. Okay. So... That is the purple, purple, mm. purple. Green, green, green. And these are the two other basics. There is my so experience. So these cards, can you play them only on your turn the or anti -hero whenever? anti-hero. Uh, whenever. As the cards make sense to play. Okay. So what are you going for, Anne? Um, I only have one charisma. And I could get one wisdom. That would give me two. How much did you go in with? Me? Yeah. Uh, oh, you're going four. for the same thing? Cool. Yeah, max charisma and one wisdom. No. <sighs> I'm going to climb the Colossus, and I'm going to bring him down. Are you climbing it, or are you trying to bring it down? Bring it down. Okay. Bringing it around town. So this is an eight cost here. So this is going to be attack, or I'm sorry, strength and... Constitution. Okay, so if I could have three strength, please. Now that's the one with the sword, Josh. And if I could also have three constitution? And that's the one with the shield. <laughs> Make sure the Zorina comes right yeah, there. I know, you gotta double check with him. Mm. Alright, so cast those runes! You need eight. Okay, well I have oh, one, yeah, two... Oh, what do I get for these ones? 
No, just two. Two. Oh. Two uh, lots. Yeah, so one, two, two four, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So congratulations, you brought down the Colossus, so it's going to give you six triumph. Thank you very much. All the triumph. You're very... Triumph. Triumphant. Yes, that's what I'm going for. It's like elephant. So then wow. we have the Queen's Chamber. So this is a constitution and a charisma challenge for seven. So you'd either win the Queen's Favor, which is going to give you a hero card, three triumph and a charisma, or you can unseat the Queen, which is going to give you plus one challenge, but also uh, the crown and five tragedy points. I'm going to spend experience to get a anti-hero card. Okay. I'm going to discard... What about that card? The Ancient... No, I'm going to discard the Queen's Chamber. That's not nice of you. And then that's getting replaced with the Rogue Elemental. So this is a, an Intelligence and Constitution challenge. And you could either extinguish the fire, which is going to give you the tree, two triumph, and the uh, Intelligence, or you can harness Living Flame, which is going to give you an anti-hero card and three tragedy. Intelligence and Constitution. Constitution. Yeah, let's go for that. Man, I really wanted to unseat the queen. Intelligent. Uh, what are you going to do? You got Living Flame? Living Flame. The Living Flame! So that's going to be Constitution and Intelligence, Josh. Is right. this going to be your third one? Uh, if I get this done, yes. So he could end the game right here. Or would we get one more round? Everyone, You, you guys would still get one more turn. So... I'm saying y'all, it's sabotage. Play this as an opponent is about to face a challenge. The challenge has plus one until the end of the turn. Okay. Uh, so. I'm going to play... I have two tap into darkness. Okay, so gain one. If you choose a dark path this turn, gain an additional one. So you're going to gain two... You're going to gain four experience. Four experience. Burk, burn. Josh. And... All right, so it's going to be, I get two. Use your words. I intelligence. I think that's ironic. <laughs> Use your words. <laughs> intelligence. I don't have any constitution. Yeah, you could say that again. But I could spend a, I could spend a... Experience. Experience to get a constitution. Could also kill your true loves. Could, but that's not going to help me right now. I mean, emotionally, it might. Okay. So I get these three. And what do I need to beat this? Seven. 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 Because of Anne. Good job, Anne. What are those cards? These? Yeah. These are mine. They're not good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Yep. I really hate him so much. Uh, can I get an anti-hero card, please? Sure. There you go. So, okay. So that is getting replaced with the Dark Revelation, which is a five charisma cost. So you can be the child of the Dark Lord, uh, which is going to be you four tragedy and that symbol there, or you can be tainted by dark magic. <laughs> I love how Matt, you make it sound like a game I show. I also get another anti-hero card. Okay. Did you, one, did you ask please? for one? Did you use your words? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, my turn? Yes. Uh, I'm going for the taint. <laughs> You're going for the what? The taint. The taint uh, dark by Dark Magic. Okay. Uh, so, that's going to be a five charisma challenge. So, I've got the charisma. So, please give me three. It's gonna be six. It is going to be six because I'm doing the plus one. And so then I'm going to sabotage it so it's a seven. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You're so soft. So I'm going to I'm gonna play the Desperate Rage because that's what I've got. So it's going to give me a plus one for each ah. of the dark paths that I've gone. I've only gone down one. So it's only going to give me... It's just basically undoing the uh, the sabotage. sabotage. Props what do you sabotage. need? I need three charisma tokens, please. So three charisma runes. I'm guaranteed three. I need six. So I'm feeling okay. Not okay enough. It's a three. Yeah. That is a three. With two anti-hero cards if you want them. 
Wow, that's really bad. You get if, a hero and an anti-hero card. Well, that's a or either or, yeah. right? Wow, yeah. that's really bad. You said two anti-hero cards. Like he doesn't want hero cards. He's not you. He's not all the way down the dark path. You know what? I just realized I should have did something different. Oh well, I screwed something up. So I failed. So I'm gonna gain two experience. I'm. Just, you know what? Oh, I just realized. I'd, okay, one second. I did something wrong. So I failed last time, right? Yeah. I gained my two experience from this card. I never gained my experience from failing. Okay. You gave what? me two. You said two from the card. I gained my two from the card. I didn't gain my one from failing traditionally. Oh. No. So I gain one here. I still can, fail. You can give me the one extra one he gave you. He's going to get th yeah, three more, one, though. One second. I'm looking at the, the runes here. So if I flip either of these, it's not going to help me, is it? No. Uh, you get plus two. That's going to bring you to a five. five. If I did something in the right order, it would have been better. But whatever. So I'm just going to... So I gain one more. I thought you get you gain two. You're right. So you gain three. Because you get one for just You're right. failing. So... I failed again. I'm going to gain two, or one anti-hero and one hero, I guess. Uh, I'm going to gain one of each. Sure, why not? I can look at each one, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, well, that doesn't help me much. I'm going to... Can I play this now? Yeah. Cool. Relentless. Gain one. Uh, corruption, and then you may make a second attempt to challenge you just failed. Okay. okay. So I move myself one down on this track. Okay. Then this goes over here. This doesn't count, right? Yes, it does, because it counted for mine, because it's your, so still your turn. turn. Okay, so then... And now you get additional one, because now you have another dark path one. Does it also get rid of the one you gave me? Was it for the turn or for the attempt? The, the sabotage. Until the end of turn, it says. Okay, so I still have the additional one yeah. cause for that. So if I play this parting of ways here, this gives me another one that I would use towards that then as well, okay. then, yep. correct? So then I'm going to discard a challenge and replace it. Um, I'm trying to see what would be most beneficial for you guys. Well, Anne's the only one going next. That's true. So I'm, you know, your, your dream of becoming the leader of the assassins is gone. Uh, but it's being replaced with the magical test. So that one's actually really good for me. That's really upsetting. Um, so I'm stuck doing this one, though. Uh, yeah. Do you want a dark rune? I'm thinking. So, I reduced my challenge by two, though. Yeah. From last time. So, no, I don't want a dark rune. Dark rune, if you do get one corruption, you get plus two points on your tra corruption attack. That is true. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. So... So I'm going to get the Dark Rune. I get my three basic, my three charisma. And it's only costing me... It's only uh, a challenge rating of four. Yeah. So I'm actually guaranteed to get it. Uh-huh. Right? What if they all flip to zero? They can't. So these are either one or two. Fine. So one, I get my two, one three, corruption. Four... I get a hero or uh, anti-hero cards. I'm going to take my anti-hero card from that. Cool. How many points are the corruption moons? Two. So you get a six. That's not a six. Why is that not a six? Because that's a nine. two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Which ones? Oh, these are two. Yeah. Let's not the tally. So I have uh, I have been tainted by dark magic. So you know, your turn, Anne. Uh, let's see what the, the last revealed card is. So now that there are no more anti-hero cards in the deck, what happens? Um, there, there's no more anti-hero cards to get. Oh, man. I'm, I'm really upset that this wasn't out one turn earlier. The King's Council. So this is uh, charisma and intelligence. You could either advise the king or claim the crown. So I, I'm going to give you a sneak peek, in Why... Can't that's, do anything about it. Yeah. Can't do anything about it now, but that's that's why. That would have been really cool thematically. Yeah, okay. I was the other thing didn't make sense. I was like, cool, Not but thematically. Yeah, no it would. 
I'm playing thematically, Anne. Uh, okay? I forgot. Um. Well, poop. What are you doing, Anne? What you gonna do? Besides act a fool. Um. Hmm. I'm going to spend an experience point because all of these suck. And which one are you getting rid of? Doesn't really matter. The, the, pick one. Pick one that makes you feel Kill good. Kill the dragon. Just to upset you. And so that's getting replaced with the Force of Nature. So this is a charisma and <laughs> uh, wisdom challenge. So you could either enslave the forest spirit or you can restore the balance, Anne. What are you going to do? Can I spend another experience point? Once hey, you, per turn. Once per turn. Sorry, buddy. Buddy. These are really terrible. Uh, mm. I'm going to spend an experience point so that I can get a wisdom until the end of the turn. Okay. And I'm going to do... And. Yes. You can sacrifice that mentor. He's not worth anything to you. He's not worth anything? Because, because you don't you have that have matching a, symbol. You don't have a matching symbol? All right. So Unless I'm you were going to pick up the matching symbol. <laughs> <laughs> then he's worth it. it. If you're going to get the matching symbol, it's worth the pay the one experience. This is the worst round ever. I believe in you, Anne. Can we just end the game here? Which one are you doing? Going for? It doesn't matter because this is a seven <coughs> with a wisdom and a charisma. Don't forget, you can get dark runes. And you can't. And then go I go down negative. I go negative four. You yes, potentially you can go down. So to I would lose four. four points. To gain five. That's a that's a positive of one. Mm, not Plus any matching symbols that that might give you. Not sure. So if you kept the mentor, you got that. That would give you eight points. I'd have to beat it first. Okay, so here's here's the problem: is that both of these, all of these, have charisma, right? And I only have one charisma. I don't have any intelligence. I don't have so that that knocks out these two, right? So that leaves me with wisdom. So these two challenges are both charisma and wisdom. I don't naturally have any wisdom, but I have my mentor ally, which gives me a wisdom if I choose to spend an experience or if I choose to um, sacrifice, sacrifice him. And how many charisma do you have? Just one. One? Okay. Right. Okay, so I've got one. So this that so so either of these challenges is my three basics and one charisma. This is not one of these. It's not a basic. So the charisma and the intelligence and and the wisdom would give you a minimum of two up to four. Then you have three other runes, which would give you a maximum of three. So it's seven on. So a that's a roll. seven on a perfect roll. Yeah. So. so yeah. And then if I roll a cur if I okay right cool so then if I use so seven on a perfect roll and if I hedge my roll by using an experience point mm -hmm. right then I'm risking gaining another corruption which would give you minus four which points. which would give me minus four points so if I picked up even if I picked up enslave the forest spirit right for four points it would be zero points and just a corruption or if I picked up where did this go read the chat in. <laughs> yes! Oh, I'm so happy that you you are here right now because I'm really stressing. If and I got Dan this, was the moderator of the I channel. did. It was I was. Uh, so we're gonna get the video up uh, soon. Yeah. I'm really excited for the Women in Tabletop Gaming. Thank you so much for coming by. I really appreciate the support, and really I hope appreciate to it. I hope to do it again next year. And yes, uh, I give you something else. You can do the Arcane's ability. You only have one charisma, but it's a challenge rating of four. You get the second symbol here. Which would give you two points. It's actually a good one. It's not as many points, but there's less risk. So, arcane ability. So, it's a challenge rating of four. You've got no intelligence, and uh, you've got one charisma. So, you're going to roll your three base and uh, your one charisma token. Are you spending any? No. No. And.
and you it's got four. four. There you go. And you get a hero or an anti-hero. But there are no more anti-heroes. So you're taking a hero guard. And uh, I'm assuming you did the arcane ability? Whichever one I passed. So you get plus one intelligence. So now you're smarter. That's good. All right. So that's going to be the end of it, right? Yeah. So Do we only oh, have two cards on Yeah, because three? we both failed. Oh. Josh didn't because he's the tank. Um, so, with that, I think it's time for us to go into scoring, correct? Uh, scoring, or do, or do we want to tell the stories oh, of the we, heroes yeah, we crafted? We no, I'm, I'm salty right now, so I'm not going to have a good That's story. That's fine. I, I'll, I'll let Josh go first, because you, you go probably first? have the best story. Yes. Uh, all right, so so start off with our hunter. What's his name? Is it Hunter? <laughs> Bob. Sure, we'll go with Bob. Thank you. Bob the Hunter. Bob, Bob the Hunter. hunter. He goes out in the wilderness. He finds a place of power. That's no, no, the bottom part. <laughs> no, put it back now. <laughs> I am the, well, above the horse. Above the horse, I'm a fit. Yes. You are the you are the place of power. All right. So you found your place of power. You got some wisdom along the way. The top I got of some my wisdom. Head. Found power. Discovered magic. I went and healed the the wounded. You performed your community service. Um, but I I thirst for more knowledge. So I learned dark secrets. Ooh. Got the dark secrets. Um, I then became a lone wanderer. Okay. All where I killed a warlock. Oh, myself. Okay. And then I took his forces and led an attack. Oh, you, you stole the warlock's forces. So you, yeah. you led an attack. Led an attack wow. with his. Um, so you're becoming more of a jerk as this goes on. Uh, but but I'm an honorable jerk. That's honorable the thing. jerk. Honorable. So you're an honorable jerk. So so I took those forces and I slayed the dragon. You're lawful evil then. Yeah. You slayed the dragon because he Damn. has too much stuff. Um, and then I became a champion of the light. Interesting. But but think of it's more like a. a uh, Doctor Doom thing here. To my people, I am a champion of light. Okay. To everyone else, I am evil. Uh, and then I harness the living flames. Oh. Oh, I like how you're. Oh. Oh. Because uh, <laughs> I am the cunning villain. You sure are. <laughs> so the cunning villain at the end of the game, you're gonna get four uh, tragedy if you have uh, strength, dex, and intelligence, and you're gonna gain one for each corruption, tra- uh, corruption that you have. Yeah. So why didn't you kill your loves? Um, because I get four points for here. If I go down more, mm. I'm gonna get negative points. Okay. Point so taken. If, if that cor- if I didn't get triggered, triggered uh, by those corruptions, I would have killed my true love. I had a card that let me kill an ally and give me an extra corruption. It gave me two corruption to drop down right where I wanted to be. Ah. Uh, so I had the ability to get where I wanted. I just didn't execute. Get it? Uh, and my stack of cards, so I can start calculating my points. Cackling. Uh, so I, I'm the beggar, and uh, I, and I need a name for my beggar. I'm going to let you name my beggar. It's Timothy. Little tiny Tim the beggar. <laughs> yes! Oh, tiny the Tim. The baker's son? No, he's, he's not really the baker's son. Uh, he was, you know, without unbeknownst to many, he was, uh, he was trained as a spy. And That's what happens when you grow up on the streets. Y- you had to. And so in order to get so damn good at it, he was super-duper studious. Little Timmy studied, studied his butt off, because he had all the time in the world. He was a beggar. He didn't have anything else to do during the day. He just sat there reading books on how to be a better spy, and he had his hand out for money. <laughs> but he's very charismatic and you know, a very infectious personality. So he won his foe's loyalty. And uh, that went on his resume, good team-building skills. They could bridge the gap between people. Uh, corporate America really loved him. So that's Oh, he's an American beggar? No. Uh, no, corporate America loved him. I didn't say he was American. Oh, was okay. Corporate America liked him. Okay. Uh, but he was actually very lucky. So that, that contributed a lot to his fortune. Um, people you know, dropped the money in front of him. And just they, they put the wrong change in his cup. And they felt bad. Like they weren't going to reach in and take the change <laughs> out. So he benefited from that significantly because he was so darn lucky. And uh, using uh, all the money he got from begging and uh, his massive scholarships and the FAFSA <laughs> and, uh, you know, student loans and aid and such, uh, he became inventive. So he, he started tinkering with things, and he got really good at what he was doing. Uh, and he was really, really trying to uh, learn more and more because he's so studious. So yeah. he delved into uh, 
the Vault of Secrets at his college and learn forgotten lore. Obviously, right? Yes. So he's learning the forgotten lore, but he got in trouble for doing that. Oh. And he was captured. <laughs> but he broke out of captivity because he's lucky. He's a good spy. Yeah. So he broke out of captivity. So good on him. And, uh, you know, he got out, but then he was tainted by dark magic because he delved into some weird secrets in that vault of secrets. <laughs> he got some weird secret knowledge. So he was tainted. And because he was tainted, well, he was imprisoned again. Again. But what did I say before? He's lucky. So he escaped to freedom. Again. 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 And when he arrived back, his luck reached its pinnacle, and uh, he found out that he was the heir to the throne. Hey! So little Timmy is really King Timothy (laughs) of noble descent, and all the beggars that accidentally gave him that good money, unbeknownst to him that it was an accident, uh resulted in the boon of his well-being as a king, and he made them all court, court-appointed officials, great benefits in retirement packages, and pretty decent health care plan, too. Oh, oh, and what does that give you, that card? Uh, this card at the end of the game is going to give me one uh, Triumph? triumph for each intelligence or uh, charisma, and then two Tragic. tragedy for each ally I sacrifice. I didn't get to sacrifice any allies. Unfortunately, you guys snapped up all the allies before I can grab them, but I did have three intelligence and three charisma. So that's pretty good. And how about you? And uh, thus ends the tale of little Timmy. And thus ends King the tale. Timothy. <laughs> uh, so I started off on the streets with you. He also abolished all student loan debt. Being that you know. <laughs> hey now, yeah. that's a real hero of the so people. So what, what's what's your pickpocket's name? Um, that's Jane. Jane. Yeah. Jane the pickpocket. Jane the pickpocket. So, so tell, uh, tell us a little bit about Jane. Um, Jane. Very ambitious. Mm-hmm. So, you know, as a young child, because we didn't have much money for school, we decided I decided to go out on the streets and uh, pickpocket people for money because it was a challenge, yeah. right? Like, I, I can't, it's a game. I don't want to get caught. Oh, yeah. But I was so good with that skill, you know, I decided that I was going to join the local militia because, you know, this is a time where there's a lot of warfare going on and, and I needed a bigger challenge. You wanted to provide back for the community, right? Right. Yeah. And, you know, I, I, took, my, I took my street knowledge – and decided I was going to become a brawler. Like, I got in a lot of fights with people. They're, you know, talk some smack. <coughs> so Jane Had to brawler. put them in their place. I like it. Uh, after I did my tour in the militia, uh, I came home. Mm-hmm. And, uh, but people were upset. People who lost, you know, this, this battle were upset. And they came after my family. <gasps> so I had to defend my family. Unfortunately, my father and mother died. We had we had gone we had gone out for a lovely evening at the theater. Did they dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and he got they got you know my family died. So I vowed. Vow vengeance. I vowed that Lord. I would avenge my parents' death. Did you go into training with the secret uh, society of spies? Just out of curiosity. Well, not only did I go <laughs> and train, I became. Oh, you became the crime lord. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to do something, go you, all the you way. You beat up the crime lord. Right. That Ra's al Ghul. <laughs> <laughs> so you took down the uh, the crime lord. I, I did. As part of that, I definitely had to delve into the darkness. Because to beat your opponent, sometimes you need to become your opponent. Oh, uh, so you, did you become the, the crime boss? I, I Well, you know, I, you, that's how you take his place. Allegedly. Uh, you beat... Allegedly. allegedly. Uh, you know... They wanted to put me away for it. Oh, how did you get out of it? <laughs> I mean, I, I didn't let them take me, obviously. You know, some corrupt official who thought I was a crime lord. Wink, wink. Wink, wink. Uh, it's, you know, I, I, I resisted that arrest. With your brawler skills. With my brawler skills. Um, and then I decided that uh, the whole crime lord thing, I needed to get away from it because I needed to, get, I needed to lay low. Okay. Right? The officials were after me. I needed a new adventure. Okay. So I heard that there was a big monster that was needed. Was he colossal? He was colossal. He was. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was a little. He was a little uh, dark too. Oh. It's dark colossus. Gotcha. Um, but I didn't just want to climb it. I brought it down. Right. You're really good at breaking it down. Look, I'm still after the people that uh, murdered my family. Of course. So I needed to. But I was really great with my brawler skills. I'm a, I'm a bamf. But but I heard they were using magical skills. 
So I needed to go and no, no, no. I needed to go and build up my arcane ability. Gotcha. Right. So I needed to be I needed to be a battle mage. Ah. Um, because I will always live my life. Oh, the hand of vengeance! <laughs> you are the knight. <laughs> you are Jane the Batman. <laughs> the Bat Jane. She should have been Barbara. Bat Jane. Should have been Barbara. I missed Barbara. an opportunity. So at the end of the Barbara game, Gordon. gain one uh, tragedy for each dex or constitution, and then one tragedy for each dark path you took. Batman. 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 Thank you, Matt. All righty then. So, how do we go about tallying up our scores here, Josh? Okay, Matt, can you grab that pencil because it's probably going to be easiest to s- on the desk. <laughs> can you grab that or no? I don't see a pencil. Uh, in front of the keyboard. <laughs> Behind the tape. There you go. You, you know, the one right there. Across the room. Yeah, it's... Can you get that pencil right there? <laughs> All right. So first Josh up, baby T-Rex arms. Oh, I didn't even mention... Your uh, mentor that he just kind of ran along with you? I did. Um, um, Alfred. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mention Alfred. Okay, first, uh, you want to count up your triumph and tragedy points. Okay. What about the hero cards I didn't play? Um, I don't believe those count. So just the ones you played. So That's these perfect. here are your triumph and tragedy points. Do they count up in the same category, or do I need to tally them separately? Uh, you should be able to just tally them by themselves. Okay. Uh, so I know total. that some abilities say to subtract one from the other. Uh, th- that would be on your des- destiny card. I don't think any of us had that. Okay. This is... Hold on. There's a lot of stuff here. I missed that. Uh, break out of captivity. I learned some forgotten lore, so that's no points there. No, we didn't. Inventive, there's no points there. Um, lucky, that doesn't give me anything. That doesn't give me anything. That doesn't give me anything. Uh, that doesn't give me anything. Okay, cool. So I have three, five, five, so that's ten, thirteen. Four is twenty-three plus six, right? I think so. Yeah. So I have twenty-nine points. Twenty-nine. Yes. That's including my ability here and my point tracker here. Oh, that's including your destiny ability. Okay. Yes, that's All including right, my destiny keep ability. Keep that in track because I might ask for destiny points later. Oh, okay. And I, I didn't count that in mine. Okay, so subtract six from my score then. So twenty-three. Yes. And I'm including the tracker. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> what was yours, Josh? Uh, 31. Whew. And you have four experience left, Matt? Uh, yes, I have four experience left. And you I have, have a ton of experience. Three. How much experience do you have? Uh, six. Wow. So we had one person who had like 10 in our de- In the demo, we only went like halfway through Act 2. Yeah. And his destiny was each experience point is worth an extra point. And he had, like, ten of them. He wasn't spending them at all and just gaining them. Jeez. So, like, he just beat us by just, like, all the experience. So what are you at, Ann? Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. 16. So then what are we tallying up next, Josh? <coughs> Sixteen. Four. All right. Uh, next up, we want to look at our stories. So group your story cards together. Okay. Um, you need at least two of a kind. Okay, what does two of a kind give you? Uh, two of a kind is going to give you two points. Three of a kind is going to give you four points. And four of a kind is going to give you eight points. So I got two of a kind for the crowns. So okay. that's two points. Okay. And I got four of a kind for the scrolls. That's going to be 12 points. So that's 12, 12, That's eight points. That's 12 points. In, I'm sorry, that's 10 points? Oh, yeah, 10 points. Sorry. 10. Yeah. So it's eight points for that one. And then so 10 points in total. Okay. Uh, Max, you can have us three. Four. Okay. I have four scales. You had four scales? Mm-hmm. Because you're the first So that's going to be eight points, Batman. and then any, o- any others? Uh, is getting there. Uh, I feel like I had... <coughs> yeah. Uh, I have the two for the scrolls. So that's ten points as well for Anne. Okay. I have four crowns, so that's eight. Mm-hmm. I have three stars... Okay. So that's 12. Mm-hmm. And I have two trees, so that's 14. Jesus. All 
right, last up is going to be your destiny card. Whatever points you get for that. How many did you get, Josh? Uh, four, five. I got six points for that. So I got six points for mine as well. Josh, Josh, by a lot. For each path that you took. That's because he cheated and he bought that one thing. He did cheat. Yeah, hundred percent. Three, four, five. I'm glad we can agree on that. Six, seven, eight. Oh, she took a lot of dark paths. Uh, I got eight dark paths. Please. Eight. Mm -hmm. So you got eight points for your final one. No, I and then she also got one point for each corruption. I'm not. I'm sorry. One point for each intelligence and each no, no, no. dex and constitution. So I had yeah. three constitution. <laughs> So that's another three. But I don't remember so how 11. much decks I had. I think I had two decks. Uh, yeah, I believe you had two decks. You had at least one decks. I had one decks from the beginning, but I think I picked up a second one. There, uh, no, I had, did become the brawler. I had one from Pickpocket. Uh, oh, you know what it is, Anne? I think that you uh, you went the for treasure. the decks for the assassins. Oh, maybe that that's correct. Discarded. Yeah, <laughs> so I think... Uh, points for your Destiny card? I believe so. Yeah, because I only had one dexterity. Okay. All right, so that's it. Uh, yeah. Cool. So, final totals. Uh, Anne got 40 points. I feel like that was really good. Uh, Matt got 43. That was close. And then I got 57. <laughs> Congratulations, Justin. You did a good job with that one. You uh, you definitely had some luck on your side, even though I had the lucky trait. Uh, but so that was our spotlight for Call to Adventure by Brother Wise Games. A uh, big shout out to them for sponsoring this stream and all of this week's streams. We're going to be doing a soft sign off right now and then continuing on with our first impression session in just a minute. And that's going to be where we talk about our favorite aspects of the game, any constructive criticisms we have, and then the most important question of the evening of would we play this game again. But for now, is there anything else that you two would like to point out before we finish up tonight's stream? Oh, we had fun. All right, so thank you all for joining us. Much appreciated. Stay tuned for our first impression session. As usual, I'm Matt. I'm Ann. I'm Josh. And we are Twist Gaming. Have a good one, everyone. Good night. Bye.